This is that old Skip us
Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh. Amen. Let us all remain standing. Let us all bow our heads and lift our voices unto Yahweh. Heavenly Father Yahweh, we come before you in the name of Yahshua, the Messiah. Lord, we thank you for waking us up this morning, starting us on our way, being with us at our jobs, Lord Yahweh, and whatever we were doing to Lord Yahweh, you were with us, Lord. And we thank you for giving us the strength, Lord Yahweh, to make it into your house, to hear words commanded of you, Lord Yahweh. And we ask that you use the bishops according to the gift that you have given unto them, Lord Yahweh. Bless them with your words to speak unto us, Lord, that they, we, have, we may examine ourselves, Lord Yahweh. And we just ask you to be with the saints of Arlington and the saints of Mexico. All those that are listening over the broadcast, we ask that your words come for those that are, have a sorrowful heart, those that are weak in, the, in this way. Lord Yahweh, we ask that you strengthen them through your words. And Lord, we ask that you, your spirit continue to flow in this place, Lord Yahweh. Continue to God is Lord Yahweh in everything that we do, Lord. We thank you for everything that you have done, Lord. In the name of Yahshua, the Messiah, that the church saves. Amen. I'd like to read a scripture out of Psalms 31. In thee, O Yahweh, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Amen. Y'all may be seated. I thank Yahweh for another day. Amen. Thank him for allowing us to make it here safely into his house, his holy house. Thank you, Yahweh, for his many blessings that he has bestowed upon us. Giving double honor to the bishops, Apostle Washington, Apostle Flores, the evangelists, the teachers that we have here in Lubbock. Thank you, Yahweh, for all the bishops that we have in Arlington as well. Thank you, Yahweh, for the word from our beloved Pastor Desi and Prophet Jenkins, Sunday morning, thanking Yahweh that it, 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 it comforts us when we need it. Amen. Hallelujah. It gives us strength when we do need it. Yes, Lord. But I thank Yahweh that he allowed me to make it here. I thank Yahweh for my beautiful wife, Amen. my children that I do have in his way. Amen. Amen. We come before his presence, saints. Yes. We come before Hallelujah. the Holy One of Israel. Amen. We know that his name is Yahweh. We come to be taught of his ways and to walk in his paths. Today we're set aside to pray and to fast and meditate on him. Amen. We, get, we, we should have gathered strength today and overcame the devil. Whatever he chose to do, I thank Yahweh for my job. Because as I was sitting in the break room today, thanking Yahweh, just meditating on the word. And this lady came in. She was like, Bobby, make sure you close your ears because what I'm about to say is not good words. She said, uh, forgive me of this language that I'm about to speak. So I just got up and walked out. Amen. 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 And she said, because if, I, if Bobby hear this, he might not call me ma'am or miss anymore. But I still show the respect even after all that. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because of what the scripture teaches me that I should shine my light. No matter where I am, no matter how great that darkness is, he commands the light to shine out of darkness. Amen. It's only through him that I'm taught how I should be at my job. Hallelujah. But we come before him to learn of him. So prepare your mind, prepare your heart for what's about to come forth. We do have our beloved Apostle Washington in the midst. So at this time, let, us, let the saints please stand and receive our beloved Apostle Washington by saying, Praise Yahweh. Amen. Praise Yahweh, saints. Everyone can be seated. Amen. So we want to thank the Lord for blessing us to be here tonight. Hallelujah. Giving him all the honor and glory that is due to him. Yes. Hallelujah. Truly, he's worthy. Amen. And uh, we are grateful for the Lord's having mercy on the city of Lubbock. Amen. Chosen to establish, amen, um, this church here in this city. Yes, Lord. And I'm grateful that I'm part of, of the labor. And truly, we're living in these, these last days. And amen. The Bible talked about how, amen, evil those days would be. That's right. Apostle Paul 
You know that he was a man of God. And, mm -hmm. and the Spirit showed him how things would be in the last days. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I'm grateful that we have the scriptures for our comfort. Yes. You know, Pastor Paul wrote to the Roman church and he wanted them to have this understanding. Mm -hmm. He said, for whatsoever thing that was written aforetime. Uh, amen. He said that it was written for our, our, learning. our learning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we, see, it didn't say you, it said, it said we. we. Amen. Have that, that we may have comfort. Amen. With patience. Amen. Yes. With patience uh, amen. Comfort. Of the scriptures, of the scriptures might, might have hope. hope. That's right. So Hallelujah. thank God, which means that there are many things on this journey that we will experience. Amen. That we will see that may even break our heart. Yes, but we can Lord. always turn to the scriptures yes. for comfort. Amen. Because we can always read about those who uh, who ran this race before us. Yes, we Lord. Can read about what great persecution, affliction mm -hmm. that they went through. Amen. And they never lost hope in God. Amen. Amen. Sometimes that's why we can we read about it. We see those movies. We cry. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Tomorrow we're going to come together and watch Chosen. Uh -huh. And uh, I already seen it today, so you're going to cry. <laughs> Some of you, because it's wonderful to see, you know, you know they put it in in action yes. that if, how things what what things took place in Amen. those days and how they Amen. went through things, and you can read about it and you can see yourself in some of those characters. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, what great faith they had yes. in Yeshua. Amen. And that's wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, those kind of movies better than shit, shooting folks and <laughs> you know, stabbing people. That's and, right. And seeing people get burned. And, yes. You know, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. But I'm grateful that I can turn to the scriptures for hope. Mm -hmm. And it will build a man up. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, of course, on this journey, any man who chooses to make up in his mind to turn from his wrongdoings. To seek the Lord's face and to do his will. Remember, you always have an enemy. Yes. Amen. Now, I'm pretty sure we all can bear witness of this one thing. Mm -hmm. Before we came here, we had no problem with the devil. No problem. Mm -hmm. Amen. We didn't even think on him. Not at all. We just lived our life. Mm -hmm. And the life that we lived was the life that he told us to live. Amen. It was the day that when you came here. And you heard the truth why God created you. Yeah. Since that time, Satan has been attacking. Yes. And now we all can bear witness that he ever made our journey hard for us. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. And that's why it's important that we have a, a made up mind. Our mind yes. has to be made up. Hallelujah. I remind you all Sunday, mm -hmm. the words of Solomon, that the race is not given to the swift. Amen. The battle is not given to the strong. <clears throat> it's to those that will endure. Because you're not going to always be strong. Amen. Some days you wake up, you so caught up in the spirit. Satan said, I got to leave you alone today. <laughs> I'm not going to mess with you because you, yeah. you, you woke up this morning with your Too mind. Right uh, yeah, amen. Yeah. When you, as soon as you woke up, you yawned. You said, get behind me, Satan. So I might as well just leave you alone. <laughs> First thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Then there are some days, amen. Is oh I can get you today. I'm gonna I'm gonna, uh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna buff you about today. Yeah. And that's when you don't feel no Holy Ghost nowhere. Yes. Don't feel no spirit no more well. Hallelujah. Satan wanted to question your 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 journey that yes. you own. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. So it's all about running this race to unto the end. the end. That's right. Not 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 till you get tired, cause we all get tired. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord knows it. Yeah. We all get tired. Yes. But it's all about running this race the until end. the end. That's right. Amen? Yes. I want to call your attention to the book of Timothy tonight. And we're going to go to 2 Timothy. Second Timothy, the fourth chapter. Pastor Paul wrote this letter for one cause. <clears throat> yes, Lord. 
Paul saying at this time, Paul is an old man now. He's been, he been on this journey for some time. Yeah. And he, Paul witnessed with his own eyes many changes to the church. Hallelujah. Many churches that he established. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many yes, Lord. Bishop that he's ordained and set up. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Seeing people falling away. Yes. Amen. Amen. Things got so bad in Ephesus. Mm -hmm. when Paul wrote to Timothy. He let Timothy know. He said, look, all of those they that was in Ephesus have turned from me. Amen. Can you imagine that? Mm. We got the book of Ephesus, right? We can read about it. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. 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 But he said, all, all the men that I set up mm -hmm. have turned from me. All Amen. of them has forsaken me. Amen. I know that was hard hearted for Paul. Yes. But he had hundreds of churches that I did. Uh -huh. I'm only dealing with three. <laughs> and it hurts. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I, can, I can't imagine what that man went through. Because one thing about when you get that love from above, that love is truly pure. When you say you care about somebody, you truly mean that. Ain't nothing no one can do, can all of do to you that what they would cause you to hate anybody. Because that, hey, hallelujah. I'm talking about that love from above. It is first pure. Hallelujah. Amen. One thing about the spirit of Yahweh, it is first pure. First pure. First. Mm -hmm. And that's when, if we, brother and sister, and you can examine yourself when you're going through these things, and you can, and you can examine your love. I see you guys still got that little limb. <laughs> and you can examine your love concerning everyone, and when you can examine your love, you can realize the love you have is the same love that God wants you to have. Yeah. You know, you can be pleased with yourself. You can be happy about your journey that you're on. Hallelujah. Even if you got to run alone by yourself, you can find peace. Hallelujah. So Paul writing to Timothy was letting them know these words. Amen. Second yes, Timothy four and one. Uh, yes. It is written. Uh huh. I charge thee therefore before Th God. Thing was so bad with the church. Hmm? Paul didn't have many men that he could depend on. That that's time, right. During this time. Yeah. He uh, you know it's wonderful when the spirit can depend on you. Yeah. That should make you want to run the more. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I said that should make you want to run the more. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You're on a ship. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the ship broke down. Something wrong with the engine. And you're the only one who know how to fix it. Hallelujah. I mean, everybody count that ship count on you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Yes. Amen. And they glad that you're on that ship. Yes. Amen. You know, some that you find some movies like that where the pilots on the plane, they all faint past that. Yes. Mm. Uh -huh. And the plane yes. is on automatic. Uh huh. Mm. Yes. They go get it. So you get on any Does anyone on the plane know how to fly a plane? <laughs> Both of the pilot had a heart attack. That's the name of the movie, Heart Attack Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> then somebody raised, hey, Hallelujah! Everybody, yeah. everybody judging themselves. I know I can't fly this thing. <laughs> I mean, you lay, man, you hear a voice way in the back. <laughs> Not first class. Way in the back. Way in the back. Little old bitty fella. <laughs> I can fly one. You know, everybody on that plane going to get happy, huh? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Everybody on that plane going to get happy. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. And if he land that thing, you know what? He's going to be everybody hero. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, yeah. You say, I'm alive because of that man right there. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's how important that you are. That's yes. why Satan fight against you like he do. Amen. Amen. Yes. So Paul looking around and saying how messed up the church is. Yes. He so he's he looked at Paul, Timothy, and he, he said, Timothy, I charge you. Therefore, before Therefore, God. Therefore, because Paul knew he had to die. Yes. The day came, Paul knew that he won't have to, he gonna be put to death. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. But he was concerned about the church, those that remain, those, amen, that the Bible call it the remnant. Amen. God, he, he said he left him a small remnant. remnant. Look around. Small remnant. Mm -hmm. We're we, we what's left. Amen. I yeah. said we're what, what's left. What's left. Hallelujah. Amen. Watch, watch the word here. I charge thee before, therefore before God. Yes. And the Lord Yeshua the, the Messiah. And the Lord Yeshua Messiah. Who shall judge God, the quick and the dead. God is bearing witness. 
to this very day, Timothy. God's bearing witness this very day. Yes. Amen. I'm put the responsibility is going to be placed on you. Yes. And God's going to hold you accountable for it. Yes. I charge thee. Therefore, before, Therefore God, before God and the Lord Yeshua the Messiah, the Lord Yeshua Messiah, who shall judge He's the quick and judge the dead, the quick and the dead, at His appearing, them that are living, Hallelujah, yes. He return those that are living and those that are dead. Amen. Who shall judge the yes. quick and the dead, and the dead, at His appearing, when He returns, and His kingdom, and what, and His you kingdom. You see, this thing is about His kingdom, not our kingdom. That's right. It's about His kingdom. Yes. It's not about what seems right in your own eyes. It's all about whether or not you seek his face. And have a mind and a heart to do his will. And sometime on the journey, it will get dark. Yes. It got dark for the Lord. Yes, it did. Remember all that, you know, we call, we say big talk. <laughs> big talk. No, amen. Yes. When, when Yeshua came on the scene, John said, look, behold the Lamb of God to take away the sin of the world. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Yes. You sure you begin to go forth and preach. Go forth, they've been doing what his father sent him to do. Yes. Telling everybody, I'm the light of the world. Uh huh. I, I'm the savior. Yes. He that believeth in me shall never die. Though he's dead, yet shall he live. Just uh -huh. send all these things. Yes. Oh, Pilate, you don't, you, don't, you don't take my life. I lay it down. Lay it down. But this call, I came into the world. Yes. Die. He was saying all these things. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Yes. We talk good when we don't have, when, we, when everything is smooth. I'm not going nowhere. No, that's my that's my this is my favorite song. I'm gonna go if I gotta go all by myself. <laughs> then when you have to go by yourself, number one, when you stop singing that song, now I got a question <laughs> because nothing should take your song away. Nothing. <laughs> that's right. Nothing should take. And I'm telling you, it will get hard. It will. It will. So I'm on this journey. If it haven't got dark for you, just stay around. Amen. I promise you, it will another get dark. Time. Every one of us will get a chance to drink from that cup. Yeah. To taste what our Lord went through when yeah. he had, when the time came for him to go to that cross. Uh -huh. You see, I, he he dragged the apostles into his, his oh, conversation, yeah. his prayer. Uh -huh. He said, you stay here and pray with me. He went off. The yeah. Bible said, he went off. We like that. Mm -hmm. I know I've been there. Well, it got so dark for me on this journey. Hmm? Mm -hmm. This old saying, misery love company. Yeah. I, I feel better if y'all suffer with me. Amen. If you could go through what I'm going through, uh -huh. so I can look for look to you for strength. Amen. So what the Lord do? He went and he prayed and he started off praying wrong. Uh huh. Father, is it when he know it wasn't? He already told everybody. Uh huh. Oh He already my told father. everybody why yeah. he came into the world. Amen. Then when the time came for him to go to that cross, Yeshua looked at his own disciples and said, "This is my hour, mm -hmm. the hour of darkness." darkness. Amen. Amen. And he prepared. He tried to prepare himself. He said, "But from this forth on, I'm not going to talk much. Mm -hmm. Things are going to get serious here." Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. So he went and he prayed and said, "Father, if it be your will, let this cup pass me." That's the thing that we're going through. We yes. just don't want to go through. I know I got Amen. witnesses tonight. Amen. Thing we're going, through, we just don't want to go through. Amen. I mean, yeah, I might going through it if I, can, if I can go through the way I wanted to set it up. Oh, yeah. Be easy. <laughs> and that's why the Bible said without faith, yeah, it's impossible, it's impossible to, please to please God. God. Right. 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 See, y'all already know what we're going to go through. Oh, yeah. And one thing about our God, and I have seen people blame God. Mm -hmm. God, the Bible says he's faithful. Faithful. Can you say faithful? Faithful. He would not allow you, amen, to be tempted. He will not. I had to come to that understanding. You know, I had a dream. I had two dreams last night. Mm. And I got up this morning and on my head and on my wife's head to begin my fast. But the dream was, one of the dream, my wife and I, we was in the Pastor Moses. It was like we was in a castle. But the, the building was like, the room that we was in was like, it, it, was, it, it had a high ceiling. It was like a castle. And in the dream, Moses was in the dream. He was already in the room, and my wife and I, we walked in the room, and he was there. And so we seen him, and he was talking to himself. And so we, my wife and I, we stopped and looked at him, trying to figure out what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, 
you know how people, the women get yawn and they knit things, you know. They, mm -hmm. you know some of y'all probably have some addresses that, that Sister Etika had made. She, mm -hmm. Okay, what they call that? Crochet. Your crochet. Mm -hmm. Well, he had made something and he was talking to it. So my wife and I was looking at him, wondering what he was talking about. Then he took and he, he, he put it on the wall. And then he backed off from it and looked at it. And he kept talking about it. He was talking about stars and all sorts of stuff. Didn't make no sense. Mm -hmm. So we were sitting down looking at him, watching him. So he climbed up on the furniture. It was way up at the top. There was a window up there. And he climbed up on the top and he stood at the window and he jumped off. And we heard a Lord, you know, thump like, you know how people, he may drop a bowling ball on a carpet, not wood, mm -hmm. but carpet, and we can feel it. Mm. I can, it, was, it was loud and we can feel it. Well, I woke up from that dream. Then I had a second dream. And this dream, the whole church was all together. We had a fellowship. We all went, you know, we had a fellowship day that the, uh, the bowling alley was only made for us so we can go there and bowl. <laughs> and all the saints were together with just us, uh, having a wonderful time fellowshipping. But I had, a, I had a problem. I don't know what it was, but I went there mad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and so my wife, I don't know what it was. I don't know what I was mad about, I was mad, but I was trying to show everybody I'm not mad. But she knew me. Right. One thing, uh, her companion, spouses, yeah. your, 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 your spouse know you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they know, they know you. They may yeah. sleep with you. Uh -huh. They live with you. Right. You know, we only see you when you come to church. <laughs> <laughs> but at the home, you know, children know mama and daddy. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. So in the dream, I was mad. And I was so mad, I wasn't really focused. So I was mumbling under my lip, and my wife was standing there, and Sister Tori, she walked behind me, and I said something that wasn't right. And my wife, she said, baby, you, you, know, you know what you just said? You said such and such. And I said, you're a liar. You know, I, you know talking hard. You know, when mm -hmm. you're mad, right. you talk hard to folk. Mm -hmm. you, are, you're a liar. I didn't say that. And at the same time, while I was saying that, I was thinking about trying to justify myself I couldn't even remember what I said. <laughs> so, but, this, but I knew I couldn't defend myself because I didn't know what I said. But she heard something because Sister Torres behind her heard it also. Mm -hmm. So when, they, when Sister Torres heard it, Sister Torres looked at Sister Washington and Sister Washington go like that. And so I got mad at it and I pushed against the wall. My wife, I pushed against the wall. This is a dream. I pushed against the wall and I'm, I'm calling myself wishing fuss matter. Because I don't want people to, you know, see me. Mm -hmm. And so I turned and I walked off. Turned and I walked off. I couldn't, I'm still, Satan put all kind of thoughts in my mind about, about her. And I'm walking. And so Satan put something in my mind. I said, go tell him go, uh, that you leaving. Mm -hmm. So I went back to look for her. And I couldn't find her nowhere. Because I wanted to tell her, I'm, I'm leaving. So I couldn't find her what she did. She, she was still concerned about the saint. Mm -hmm. She didn't want the saint to see nothing. So she went into the women's restroom. So I'm looking everywhere so I can tell her I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. So I looked down. I saw, you know, I had, you know, at the bowling alley. You know, so, so many of us, a lot of saints there. You know, they give you shoes. Mm -hmm. So I had my bowling shoes on. So the devil, he put in my mind how to, you know, get, get at folk. He, he'll do that. He'll put in your mind how to hurt one another. Amen. He do that. Yeah. You know, so he told me, just leave. Take, take your shoes off. Your bowling shoes, put your regular shoes back on. Tell her you're leaving. So I took my shoes off, my bowling shoes off, had them in my hand, had my regular shoes on. So I'm looking for her so I can tell her I'm going to leave because I know that she, so she only got one car. Mm -hmm. She like having it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take the car. Mm -hmm. So I said, told me, she's in the restroom. So I stood by the restroom door. One, one of the sisters walked in. And I looked in, I saw her sitting inside this, this restroom. The restroom is, had an area where people can sit. Mm -hmm. So I looked out, I said, I'm leaving. And no saints in, no saints in, no one. Yeah, some of you were like, they couldn't see me. Mm -hmm. uh, but she saw everything, and she was doing her best to make sure you all don't see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I tossed her the tennis, the shoes, and I left. And I want her, what I want her to do is run behind me. Hey, what's the matter? What's wrong? Well, that's what I want her to say so that we can get into a fuss. Mm -hmm. And so when she didn't do that, I got halfway out the door, and I looked behind her. She wasn't there. So I went back. They said, go 
asked her for some money. So I went back, walked out, I said, oh, oh, give me some money. Just like that. Give me some money. She go, baby, put up my purse in the, in the, in the, in the thing. So I, I left. Got to the door, realized she still wasn't behind me. Now, I need her behind me. I need her to tell me she's sorry. Mm-hmm. She ain't did nothing. Amen. But I need her to tell me she's sorry. If she don't, I'm going to leave. Mm-hmm. So when I saw her, she wasn't there. So I went back to the restroom, opened the door, looked, and I told her, I want you to come out there and give me some money. Say, y'all just enjoying yourself on one call. Everybody happy. So she get up, she come, and she follow me outside, and I'm letting her have it all the way to the car. Get to the car, she open up a purse. She took out her wallet, bill folder. And one pocket, it was $52 in one pocket. In the other pocket, it was a couple hundred dollars, like rent money and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So she reached there, and she took out the two 20s, and she gave it to me. She gave me 40, and she kept 12. So she did that. I just snatched the, the wallet from her, just a dream. I snatched the wallet from her, and then took all the other money and put it in my pocket. And I chunked her, her wallet. And I chunked it, everything went out of that all over the place. So I was already mad. I, I supposed to be taking a call. Mm-hmm. So I'm so mad now, I changed my testimony. Now I want to walk. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to walk. Mm-hmm. So when I began to walk, she was still waiting for her, baby, no, don't leave. Baby, I, I'm, I, what, what did I do? That's, my, that's what I want to hear her say. Mm-hmm. She just held her peace and say nothing. I looked back and I saw her just picking up everything that I threw out. She was picking it all up. Then I turned to walk away, and the spirit said, why are you doing me this way? That's what the spirit told me. Why are you doing, treat me this way? And I stopped. Then I looked back at her, and she was, she sat down on the curb. She was putting all the stuff back into place that I threw out. <sighs> so I went to her. I, I knew that I was fighting against God. So I went to her, and she didn't know I was coming. And so by the time I got up to her, she, she saw my shadow, and she just stood up. And it looked like her eyes, her bottom of her, her lens, this part of her eyes, it was like a cup. It was like it was holding her tears. Mm. And she was, she stood up, not angry. She stood up to, to prepare herself for me to persecute her more. Mm. And when I looked into her eyes, and I saw that she recognized that she wasn't angry, that means she was upset with that the spirit that was in me. She saw that Satan was in me. And she had made up her mind that she wasn't going to fight. She wasn't going to defend herself. She wasn't going to do none of those things. And she just prepared herself so that I can persecute her more. And when I saw that in her, I began to cry. When I began to cry and I looked at her, I said, baby, I'm sorry that you have married a foolish man. And then she took me, my, I put her hand by my head and laid my head on her chest and tell me, baby, it's going to be all right. Now, I, the Bible says, he that has a dream, let him tell it. Amen. Now, I told the dream. Yes, Lord. Hmm? Amen. Amen. How, now, how's it going to minister to you now? Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Are y'all getting this tonight? Yes, Lord. Amen. Watch the word reading. Amen. Preach the word. What? Preach the word. Timothy, preach it. Be instant you in can't season. feel afraid to preach the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Because you're seeing people leaving left and right. Amen. Hmm? You can't, don't change the message. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just like in my wife, just like in that dream. Amen. It wasn't nothing wrong with her. No. It was something wrong with me. Amen. Now, in that dream, that can be, because I said it was Pastor Moses and me, that can be any one of us. One I'm of just us. telling you the dream that I had. Yes. But that can be any one of us. Amen. One thing about the dream, all we got to do is tell it, and you know who it is. Yes. It may be a woman in a dream, but it was acting for a man. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One thing about Yahweh, he, amen, the Bible says, if our heart condemn us, God because is God great. is great, don't you know God, can, he can get to you in a dream? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Because he's greater than us. Amen. Are y'all listening to me tonight? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So despite what the church go through, the Spirit still wants us to preach, preach the word. Preach the word. Yes, sir. Be instant and in be, season. Be quick. Hallelujah. Yes. Instant in season. Out of season. When the people want to hear it, preach it. 
Yes. When the people don't want to hear it, preach it. Reprove. What, 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 what? Reprove. Can't just can't let folks just do what they want to do in the church. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Without government, we'll be messed up. Amen. Hallelujah. Without rules, we'll be messed up. Hallelujah. Amen. So Paul telling Timothy, you can't allow just because you see folks falling away. Falling by the wayside. Amen. Someone sang a song, Lord. Amen. Many are falling by the wayside. Lord, help me to stand. Yes, mm -hmm. right, so when you look around, you see people falling by the wayside. Then you ought to go on your knees and say, Lord, help me to stand. Yes. Help me to stand. Help me to stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Yes. Amen. The time came when I didn't know how to fight. And I was learning how to fight. Hallelujah. Amen. I had to remember those words. Help me to stand. Hallelujah. Hello, are you listening to me? Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, Lord. Regardless who the devil chooses to you. Yes. Amen. The Spirit said, Paul said, stand therefore. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And you got to stand. Yes. They, they come. Every one of us got to learn. You will have an opportunity to stand for yourself. Amen. I don't care how sweet your marriage is, the day gonna come, you gotta stand for yourself. I don't care how sweet your children is, they're gonna grow up. And you gotta learn to stand for yourself. Amen. You gonna realize you can't stand because daddy's in the church. Or because Amen. mama's in the church. You gotta learn to stand for yourself. Amen. That's right. Know. Yes. Every one of us would drink from that cup. That's right. Every one of us must eat the bread of affliction. Yes. Are you listening to me, brother? Yes, Jesus? Lord. Oh, y'all listen to me. Yes. You got to stand when the money is not right. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to stand when you get sick. Amen. How many, how many have been watching Chosen? You know, and, and Chosen, little James, you shoot and heal little James. No, he didn't. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't doubt God because you're not healed. Amen. And it don't necessarily mean your faith is weak neither. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Even Paul said, these things we will do if God permit. God permit. I, I can pray for you, but it may yeah. be God permit to go. He don't want you here. So that yeah. you have somebody like you yeah. in your condition to continue to testify how good God is. Amen. Because what, I mean, I mean, let's start the thing about that. Every time y'all always bless you with something, you come to show with a testimony. Amen. You feel good. You feel like you're a child of God because you yeah. got something. But let it be taken away. Right. Won't it testify no more. Uh -huh. Won't sing no more. Right. Won't do what you were set up to do yeah. no more. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Right. But when you understand this thing, when you you meant what you said, this joy that I have, the world didn't, the world didn't give it to me. Amen. Hallelujah. That's you know right. what you're talking about when you say that. This peace I have, the world didn't give it to me. Since the world didn't give it to me, how can it take it away? away. Hallelujah. That's right. If you have this joy because I gave it to you. Yes, Lord. Huh? I gave you that power. Yes. Other than that, you can't have it. Hallelujah. You can't have something that I don't give to you. Yes. Are you listening to me, brother and sister? Yes, Lord. Satan is real. Yes. Very real. Right. I don't care how good things is today. Wait till tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Hmm? He's coming. Hmm? What you going to do? Right. When time is hard, it don't mean things are wrong with you. You're just going to have to suffer. That's all. Amen. That's right. Well, the Lord told us all, amen, if any man shall come after me, yes. let him first deny himself. Deny himself. You want too much. And what you want is, and Satan always deal with that stuff you want. You let him take up his cross and follow me. And follow me. Yes. But he that seeks to save his life shall lose it. Shall lose it. Mm -hmm. But he, he that will lose his life for my sake, sake shall find it. You're losing everything because you serve me. Lord, that you'll find it. You don't give up, you'll find it. Shall find it. The way is already made for you. Mm -hmm. hmm? Amen. Just have, just have need, Paul Rosa, yeah, just have need of patience. Need of patience. Let patience have her. Her perfect word. Sometimes you just sit on down and let, and let patience do what it got to do. You're going to find more joy just sitting down. So I said, what are you doing? I'm waiting on my chain. Just waiting. Mm -hmm. Amen. You better get up and do something. No, no. Spirit told me to wait on the Lord. Yes. And it put an emphasis on it. And again, I say, wait. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, amen. Amen. You got to learn to let the Lord fight your battle for you. Yes. Amen. Amen. You got to wait until you get the victory. Hallelujah. So I said, how long you going to set that? He said, till I get the victory. Amen. Huh? Until I get the victory? Because you can't go back to what I used to be. Hallelujah. In my dream, I went back to dealing with my wife the way I used to deal with her. Yes. That sounds just like me, huh? Because I gave you my testimony. I get mad at what I do, take the money. And, and everything's got in the prayers, I shake it out. Hallelujah. Mm, but there's a whole lot of harvest in here. Yes. A whole lot of Moses, we us too in, in the dream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Amen. But I know how I'm walking. Yes. I know something. I sure had a witch. I didn't I did change my, 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 my name to, uh, to Little Robert. <laughs> Changing him to Little Robert and, and Destiny uh -uh. when the dream with me, me and Cass. Yeah, switch it. <laughs> switch it up. Because it it's, all, it's all about my image. I'm worried yes. about what people, I don't want people to see me that way. Yes. Well, I know how I'm walking. Amen. Told my wife that dream, she should begin to cry. Yes. She know where we come from. Amen. Yeah, baby, that was just so touching. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I cried myself. Yes. Thank y'all we had delivered me from that man. Amen. And they showed me in the dream of Carol that she represented that person in the church that cared about the church. Yes. Amen. All she was thinking about, she was willing to take all that abuse from me yes. just to see to it that y'all wasn't discouraged. Amen. And I wasn't thinking about y'all. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My wife got something to say. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Uh, reason I had tears in my eyes when you shared the dream with me today at home, because before you shared that dream with me, our sister Standifer called me from Arlington, and um, and uh, she said, I just want to call, call you and tell you I love you, and I thank Yahweh for you. I'm here today because of you. She said, I'm thinking about all your sacrifice you have done over the year for everybody. And she said, I wouldn't be here today with my husband if it wasn't the, uh, the uh, example in the counseling you have given me. And I told her, reason I give, gave counsel, give counseling like I give, because I have a dark uh, hour, like you was preaching earlier. I have a dark hour. I said, but when I go through my dark hour, I go to Yahweh. Because if Amen. I don't go to Yahweh and I do what I want to do, what this flesh want to do, Amen. only thing I see, I was in church for years, brought up in the church, and was set up for example. If I fall apart, I see all of y'all falling apart. I see all everybody with their husband, their children, their family falling apart. I can't have that on me. I said, that's why I run and, and strive the way I strive. Because I don't want nobody blood on my hand. I say, wherever I go through, whether it's with my husband, anybody, I take it to Yahweh and let Yahweh justify me whether I'm wrong, whether I'm right. Like El Bush used to say, if you ain't right, get right. If you're right, stay right. And that's what I work on. Did y'all feel that virtue? Oh, yeah. No one. Look, look at them side here, y'all. There's a difference when you're working on yourself. Amen. And, and she has to continue to work on herself that her profiting. See, don't you know you have to work on yourself? Yes. That your profiting may appear. Mm -hmm. that it, you got to show that you are working on yourself. That, yeah, I know I got problems, but I'm working on myself. You know, yes. I, and I saw uh, a, a buttercup and Ariana up here singing. I saw that she's working on herself. Amen. Yeah. But don't stop that love. Amen. Y'all come together as a God, we are young couple there. Y'all are the difference between you and all of them. Them young people come together yeah, to encourage one another. Yeah. They know each other. To know that's how you fight the devil. I mean, I share with y'all my testimony about Deacon Burst. Everybody know it. Uh -huh. Brother couldn't stand me. <laughs> <laughs> Chief D. Jesus. See, y'all know my I need to know yours. Y'all know if Pastor Watson had a problem with a brother in church because he called himself Chief Deacon, everybody know my testimony. <laughs> I, I, but we need, we need to hear yours, though. Your victory. 
How you overcome? Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I heard the word where it said you, 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 you do your part. You got to bring peace. You got to make the peace. Yeah. Can't say well, that's Dick, uh, uh, Deacon Burson got the problem, not me. Yeah. But that word still applies to me. Yeah. If you know your brother have an altar against you, leave your yeah. gift at the altar. Don't sing a song. Don't get no tithe. Don't do nothing. You go to your brother and be reconciled to your brother. Yeah. Then come and offer that thing up to me. Yeah. And so what did I do? I said, well, I'm gonna ask. For, I'm gonna, it's better wrong for. Let me pray. I said I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna call prayer. When I would call prayer, everybody show up except him, right? Right? Yeah. Everybody show up. Now, I didn't tell everybody. You know, you know, he got a problem with me. She hit my wife. She said, she take it to the Lord. Amen. She don't talk to nobody about her problem. She take it to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, where do you think my wife get that from? Amen. From her husband. Amen. The husband. Oh, the one sister. One woman missed that. I know you're on fire back there. Amen. Yeah, she got to hang it. Nah, that's all right. I get to you. Yeah. And you, you thank y'all well. I'm preaching now. Uh, uh, Pastor Stanley, because he, he leave your hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. But, but I get to you. And if I don't get to you, stand up. Then I know that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but anyway. Yeah. I, so I, I called prayer. And I kept on calling. Everybody would show up for prayer except him. And I want to be a wise man. So I said, well, so hallelujah. I said, you get behind me. Don't give me no counsel how to deal with him. So I would pray about it and come to the church. And I sit down and hear the word. And the spirit gives me direction. I can't go wrong if I'm doing what the spirit telling me to do. So the spirit told me, spoke to me through the, through the message. Get someone else to do it. He'll show up to their prayer. So, mm -hmm. I, so I got with a, 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 a brother Tor Turner, a, a, a Turner, brother Turner, this Gordon Turner. And I told him, I said, you go ahead. And I didn't tell him the situation, why I want him to do it. So yeah. I said, uh, let's, uh, you, you go ahead and ask for prayer. We all meet up your house. He asked for prayer. He showed up. He showed up at his house. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, and then it still didn't solve nothing. Hallelujah. We did that for a while. It still didn't solve nothing. So, but I couldn't rest because the word keep on telling me what I need to do. I can't say, well, I tried. That's it. I tried. <laughs> no, you, hallelujah. So the next thing I did, I said, let me, well, since he won't come to my house. I, I didn't talk to my wife about it neither. So the Bible said corrupt, uh, evil communication, corrupt good manner. Why you want to talk to people about their uh, other folks' fault? All it does is corrupts them. Amen. You're supposed to fight your own battle. Well, I'm getting to you, Mister. But you're supposed to fight your own battle. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Right. So I said, Well, Lord, the only thing that we're coming to church, I pray, come to church. I thought when I pray, I always come to church looking for an answer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 See, when you get tired of stumbling and falling and making mistakes, yes. you stop leaning on your way, you start seeking the Lord. Right. Ain't no need me to read about all these people in this Bible that have faith, mm -hmm. that sought Lord for counseling. Hallelujah. And get happy on their testimony. So the Spirit spoke to me when they went through the message. You go to their house. Mm -hmm. So you know what I did? I good up the loans of my mind. And he didn't know I was coming. I went over to his house and knocked on the door. Yes, Lord. You hear me now? I, wait, wait a minute. He's real loud, brother. Hallelujah. He had no idea. It was happy that thing. Open the door and saw me. Go, mm. <laughs> mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Yeah. Say praise Yahweh. Brother, can I come in? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on in. I said, look, I, I want to come to you and tell you I'm sorry for thinking evil about you. Yeah. You know, when I, you know, when I saw that movie, when uh, was, who was that? Uh, Andrew went to Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene, uh -huh. I said, I know all about that. <laughs> I want to have on her testimony. I've done all of that. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't crying because I, ain't, ain't, I know I need to do it. No. My tears are tears of joy that I know I, I think y'all I did it before the movie came out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing on that movie getting me. I beat y'all. I beat Chosen too. Hallelujah. I beat Chosen doing all that stuff. Yeah. All the bad I did that too. But the good I done that also. Yeah. All three seasons. Yeah. I said I wanna I wanna uh, I want you to forgive me, brother, for thinking evil of you. He didn't know what to do with that. 
Amen. And after that, we had no more problems. Amen. You know what he started doing? He said, and he told me, he made confession. Yes. He said, I only did this possible. He said, Brother Deacon Washington, because true, truth is, you are better than I am. Mm. That's exactly what he said. You are better than I am. I was brought up in church, and you come off the street and came in this church. And I see how you gave yourself to the Lord. Mm -hmm. You're a better man than I. Yeah. It take, see, if you want peace, you got to make it. Yeah. Can't yeah. mum and complain about what everybody else did yeah. doing yeah. to you. Yeah. Yes, Miss Nan, it's your time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 um, as you said, she's been working on herself, and she had been coming to me and asking me uh, about some things that needed to get done. And uh, I was thanking Yahweh for that because uh, Satan wanted me to be upset with the way she approaches me about things sometimes because I'm <laughs> older than her. You know, I'm her aunt. And so I think Yahweh, the way I can tell that she's working on herself as well because uh, she's been calling and, you know, she uh, thanked teacher for being who he is and uh, thanking, you know, asking me, what should she do about this? And I really appreciate that because it was lifting up my spirits, you know, because I also want to be um, helping. I don't want to, you know, say wants to come at me, say, oh, they're trying to, you know, not listen to you. But no, the way she's been coming, talking to me, I'm like, well, thank you, Yahweh, because that's helping me to be what I need to be for her. So our iron sharpens iron. So I thank Yahweh for that. And that's what helps me to continue to want to help her, help us, help the church. See, in this way, like in my dream, I'm telling about my wife, she said, don't you, uh, 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 you don't tell me what I said. Amen. You know, mm -hmm. I'm looking at her at, at her in a way that I shouldn't be looking at her. My point is what Mrs. just said. You see, it has nothing to do with age. Amen. Amen. It's the, the spirit is older than all yeah. of us. Yeah. Ella Cruz, according to the flesh, is the oldest of us all. Amen. But the spirit it's older than everyone. Amen. And whenever someone comes to you with truth, that's the spirit, God. Mm -hmm. And he's older. You, and that's why you got to walk in the spirit and understand. Yeah. The, you can't let the flesh get in the way. Amen. And, but you see, uh, but I'm, I'm, I, I tell you what, I, I enjoy that testimony. Because even in, in, in Ariana, I see a change. I see a beginning to see a change in Michael. Mm -hmm. You know what they did as a family? But they need to continue to do these things. Not this week. But Amen. next week, week after next. Amen. The rest of the Which one of y'all came up with the song to sing? You did. You see, she hadn't been singing lately. So you, so you strong too. Amen. But I was glad to see y'all come Amen. together. Satan don't like that. Oh, no. And when y'all, your husband, you, Quentin, you get with little Michael, y'all mind on, on the Lord, not natural, not things about the body, but the word. Amen. Oh, y'all listen to me? Yeah. And that's with all of us, little Robert and, and, and Destiny. Yeah. Don't you know y'all ain't got great things for you? Yeah, yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah. You know, Amen. seeing y'all, you know, you, my heart rejoices. I saw you down in Arlington. Yeah. And you ain't like you had, you know, you, you, I don't think you even thought about you was married. You having such a good time. <laughs> 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 no, I said married, I'm mad. <laughs> See, when you're caught up in the spirit, you're not in the flesh. Uh -huh. You're not worrying about, oh, yeah. oh, you're seeing that movie tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, then she got a hand up. Ho hold on, baby. Hold on. Who got the mic? Your husband. <laughs> praise him. Like I was telling my husband, sometimes I feel I have to go praise him without you, honey, because I need to know him. That's right. You just like your mommy. I can't tell about what I cry. <laughs> but that's so beautiful, though. Yeah. I wonder about. Uh, uh, you know, one thing about it. Uh, uh, Desna, she going. Uh, she's touched when I word. Yeah. And, I, and the Lord was still <laughs> Okay, that, that, say it again so they didn't hear what you're saying. But don't cry because that's what we, that we won't, you know, we, we don't want to translate your testimony. <laughs> Go ahead and say it one more time. They, they want to hear it. I said that uh, I told my husband today that I had to go praise him without him coming. So for him not to get back. Not, amen. See that? You have to get up and go. That's right. You got to, you got to, you got to do what's best for you. Yeah. Yes. I even told, uh, I called uh, 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 Ariana in the back in the office. I said, baby, if it's too hard for you to be down here, let me know. I'll send you and your, your family to all of us. Mm -hmm. 
I, I, I ain't worried about parents. I'm worried about saving souls. Amen. I mean, I left my family. But oh, you yeah. know that I ain't worried about family stuff. No. That family stuff, it, it don't bother me at all. Amen. Because in that life that is coming, ain't going to be no father there, no mama there, no son, yeah. no daughter, no brother and sister. Amen. We ain't going to know one another yeah. like we know one another right now. Amen. Sometimes this journey gets so tedious, yeah. so dark, uh -huh. You got to act like you don't have a father. Amen. You got to act like you don't have a mother. Yes. You got to act like you don't have no brother, no sister, no son, no daughter. Amen. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. Well, these are the things that Satan attacks. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. It's all about saving your soul. Yeah. I'm a, I know, you know, like, 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 you know, you know, some people say we marry folks too fast. My job is to get you out of the scene. Yeah. Y'all your job to keep you. <laughs> hey, man. That's my right. My job is to get you out of the scene. Yes. And let you know that your marriage will work out if you let Yahweh be the lead in your life. Let him lead your life. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And the Spirit will bless you going out and coming in. Yes. And if the Spirit won't do that, there's no need for us to say these words. Amen. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all listen to me. Yes, Lord. And then I use myself an example with my wife and I. I t I'm t we almost separated. Amen. Yes. Came very close. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 But uh, I, I just couldn't quit. She just couldn't quit. Amen. So Amen. we decided the best thing for us to do yes, just, you know, I couldn't wait till she got right first. I did Amen. what I had to do as a husband. Yes. I mean, I couldn't, I'm reading what the Bible says, and I'm, mm. I'm ashamed that I'm not coming up to what the scripture teaches me to come up as a, as a man. Amen. I need to be stronger. Yes. yes. And then I got to wait on the Lord. Yeah, amen. Amen. Yeah, I know I, I told her what she just do, pinch me. I, I, I said we do what we can do, get one another out of the spirit. Yeah. <clears throat> Your time to be the devil. Yeah. <laughs> Your time to be the devil. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Your time to be the devil. <laughs> Your time to be the devil. Yeah. That's how the devil works. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try to be the devil. Yeah. <laughs> he hit me back. <laughs> Sometimes it is that quick. <laughs> Sometimes it is that quick, though. <laughs> yes. We stopped, my wife and I stopped playing Satan game. That's what it is. I made up my mind to do this thing, even if I had to do it by myself. Amen. Amen. Finally, in due time, Amen. she caught on. Oh, yeah. Amen. Is it hot in here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, it's getting hot. Okay. You must see mother over there. She fanning. So, ah, even thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, get too high, folks start falling asleep and stuff. <laughs> look, look, at, look at Miss, and she want to take our head covering off because she hot. <laughs> she almost slid it off. <laughs> <laughs> She's all watching it. I'm on the wall. I'm watching. Yeah. <laughs> amen. So, uh, you, 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 amen. You cut that thing off. Uh, what you, you cut it down to? Yeah, cut it on down to 65 so it don't kick back on. Actually, actually cut the thing off. Cut it off. Yeah, just cut it off. I think the next couple of days is going to be kind of warm, so we don't need it on. Are y'all still with me tonight? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Watch the word. Preach the word. Preach the word. Be instant, Be instant in, in season. season. Out of season. Out of season. Reprove. Bishop, y'all hear the Bible talk? Yes. Reprove. Rebuke. Even when people don't want to hear. Amen. That's what the church is all about. Amen. People that leave, they don't like the reproof that we offer them. Amen. They don't like the rebukes that we offer them. Right. Because God's church, we have to walk a certain way. Amen. We got to walk a certain way. Yes. Amen. Hmm? Rebuke. Amen. Exhort with and all long suffering. There. We just don't leave you there. Amen. I don't care how much I reprove you, how much I have to rebuke you. Amen. Before I let you go, I let you know I, I, I believe in you. I know you can do it. I don't care yes. how low you fall. It. You can do it. Amen. Amen. I don't care what you're going through. You can, Amen. Little Robert, your wife and your wife, y'all can do this. Oh, yeah. Now, y'all can look back at the past and you can see where the, where the mistakes was at. You know, one thing about my wife and I, when we talk about our past, 
I don't talk about hers, and, and I talk about what I did. Right. Yeah. And she talk about what she did. Yeah. 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 The ones I we made my, I, uh, got myself right. Yeah. Finally, you know, I was telling her, yeah, and I did it. You showed did. No. Oh, I'm talking about before. She did. Yeah, yeah, you did. It's you. So I had to learn. To I had to learn. I had to learn to take all that. Yeah. Like, nobody but you. So I accepted for for a good while. And finally, when my wife recovered herself, because it takes two to argue, I don't, I don't care what you say, it takes two to argue. Uh huh. And she realized that, that amen, that amen, she got, she's not going to get me into the argument with her. Finally, she slowed down, started examining herself. You know what? And I, and I, and I wasn't waiting for no apology. I already forgiven. Amen. Makes you know she began to do the things that I do to, to be to, to, to do to be strong. Yeah, amen. And finally, she comes to me and I, I, a good while, and I say, "Why well, all I did too?" And, I, and one day she said, "Junior, it wasn't only your fault. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was to blame too." Man, that house can be healed. Amen. As long as we keep on pointing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Pointing. I'm just being honest with you. We stopped all that right today. Even when we talk about the past, I always talk about what I did not hurt. Hmm? She's in here, she'll bring them on. If I hadn't did this, I, I did this. Hallelujah. Amen. We, we failed our children. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hmm? Oh, so for the rest of our life, amen, we live to make up the wrong that they saw in us. And they it, they, it, it, and they and they we and they deserve that, Amen. and we owe that to them. Amen. Bible said, "Oh, no man, nothing." Nothing. They ain't talking about money. It's talking about how you supposed to, Amen, serve them, how you supposed to love them, how you supposed. Hallelujah! Yes. Don't y'all know? You know what? Y'all owe me to walk up right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you know my sleep's supposed to be sweet? Amen. 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 Bible says it's, it's, it's not good. It doesn't profit you Amen. to grieve him. Amen. To have the rule over it doesn't profit you at all. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hmm? Yes. Yes. As parents, we owe it to our children to walk upright. Yes. And then we owe it to one another. Amen. Amen. Y'all young brother, y'all owe it to one another to do the right thing when y'all come together. Right. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. We, owe, we owe it. As a bishop, I owe it to walk upright, to be an example. Not only to tell you how to live, but to show you how to do it. That's right. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Amen. We that remain, it's important that we be strong. Amen. Yes. yes. Satan tail is still in the head. Still swinging. Still swinging. Hmm? His tail is still swinging. Watch the way we read Exhort with all long Exhort suffering. Exhort with all long. You gotta be have long. And I know I'm gonna have. I'm, I'm also, uh, sister watch nine. We'll we long suffer. Y'all know it's the truth. Yeah. Amen. 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 Plain truth. And you're dealing with people as this, you, you amen. You don't. You get up and just mad. <laughs> uh, uh, abuse your authority. Yeah. This pulpit is up here. It's the holy of holiness. Amen. amen. Yes. You know, in the temple of God, they have what they call the holiness of holiness. Mm -hmm. Only the high priest can go in, go, can go in there. Yes. It was so holy, he went in there once a year. Once a year. That's how holy that place was. Yes. Bishop, all y'all understand this. This is the holy of holiness. Amen. Here where God speaks to the people. Yes. Amen. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. I understand that. When you come up here, where you at? Every time Moses went on that mount, what did God tell him to do? Take his shoes off. It's holy ground. Holy ground that you stand. Amen. Amen. God, and you bishop, Yahweh have chosen you. Yes. You need to see that. Yes. You need to see it. That God dwells here. Yes. He's going to be using you. Yes. You can't Amen. preach yourself. Amen. Got to preach him. Yes. Even Yeshua, the, uh, Jeremiah, the, the prophesied by Yeshua when he come. He said, when he come, he will not judge according to what his eyes see. Right. Or nor what his ears hear. 
but he would judge righteous judgment. In other words, he's going to allow the father to use him. I'm glad when that woman was caught in adultery, he was different than all the other ones, huh? Yeah, so he yeah. gave that woman hope that go away and sin no more. Yeah, yeah. He didn't belittle the woman, go away and sin no more. Yeah, he said, lest a worse thing happen to you. Yeah, worse thing. You blessed this day to be in my presence. Mm -hmm. and every time we come in this in this in this place called the house of God, yeah. don't we know? Don't you know you would come in the in the presence of the Most High? Yeah. And if you allow yeah. Satan to see the church any other way other than that, then you're gonna be very disrespectful. Amen. And if you're very disrespectful when you come before the presence of God, amen, then you become his enemy. Amen. amen. And if you become his enemy, you can't be blessed. That's right. Are y'all listening to that? Yes, Lord. And that's why when we come here, we're supposed to be, uh, uh, have an uh, ear to hear. Amen. 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 And God said, keep your foot. When you, when you go into the house of God. Yes. And be, be more, more ready. ready. Listen, more ready. To hear. That's why yeah. you come. To hear. Amen. To be taught of God. Amen. So the man of God said be more ready to hear than give the, the sacrifice, sacrifice of, of a fool. fool. Because fool don't consider. That they do evil. That they do an evil. Not a fool. Amen. We're going for and you shut down because you don't like the message. Lord. You're a fool. Now why are you here? Amen. Why are you here? The prophet said what did you come out to see? Huh? You a reed blowing in the wind? Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. If you come to say a prophet, you're going to hear more, more you'll see more prophet. than a prophet. Yeah. You're going to see God operating. Yeah. When that man opened his mouth, amen, hallelujah, that word, which is the word of God, is a sword, is going to get you. Yeah. Uh, amen, it's going to show you what you really are. Yeah. Yeah. Why you want to keep your foot. Mm -hmm. That's right. Then give the sacrifice of a fool. Of a fool. Ain't nobody go to Red Lobster just to go in there to sit. <laughs> nope. You go there to eat. For that purpose. You went there for that purpose. Are yeah. you going to order something, mister? Uh, no. no. Well, you have to go. Yeah. We got, other we got people out there that ain't order. They ain't order. Why you coming yeah. here? Yeah. Our way, nothing. Right? Amen. <laughs> so we come here to hear what the Spirit has to say <laughs> to us. Amen. One message is going to go forth. Yeah. And it's going to get every one of them. Every one of them. One message. Yeah. And it's going to be just for you. Yeah. One message. Yeah. And it ministers to all of us. Yeah. Concerning all our conditions. Yeah. One, and only, you know, only God can do that. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You always say, all oh, that well, Oh, that word showed it touched my nose for me. Lord, help help my unbelief. Mm -hmm. If you're lacking faith, you say, Lord, help my unbelief yes. and increase, increase my, my faith. faith. Yes. Because only you knew what only you know what's going on in, inside my heart. Yes. That's why I love the church. Amen. I, w I wouldn't be what I what I am today. It wasn't for the word that, that I heard. Right. Come on, come on. Exhort with all long suffering. And, and Bishop, y'all hear that talk about the talk? Yes. You also want to exalt. Yeah, you, it's important that you reprove and rebuke mm -hmm. because we have to have order in God's church. Yeah. But don't leave out the exhortation. Amen. Because it's not God's will that any man Amen. should perish. Yeah. His will is that if you're wrong, to repent. Yeah. That's his will. Yeah. yeah. You know, little Robert Beck, I, I, amen. Uh, so I have forgiven him. Yeah. I, what he done in the past, it's not, it's not, it's not staying with me. Not at all. Not at all. Glory. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's with all of us. God desires mercy. Yes. Above sacrifice. Mercy. That's why Yeshua told them that, that follow him, be ye merciful. For people got issues, they go through things. So I want you to be merciful, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is merciful. So it's easy for me to forgive. Yeah. And act like you ain't did nothing. Yeah. That, that's, that's easy for me to do. Because yeah. I want that from the Lord. Yeah. I, wanna be I don't forgiven. want y'all to remember nothing. Every time I pray, Lord, I tell my blot it, blot him out. All my wrongdoing cast it far from thy sight. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's right. That, that's my prayer. And that's my same prayer for all of you. Blot it out. None of us want people to remember our wrongdoing. Yeah. None of us. None of it. <laughs> yes. 
Am I right about that? Amen. Even when the spirit bring up your wrongdoing, amen, your head hurts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's right. mm -hmm. amen. Amen. When Matthew wrote about uh, Peter, you know, in the movies, they didn't get along, right? They did. <laughs> <laughs> and Chosen, they didn't get along. No, no, no. Yeah. If you haven't seen Chosen, why Chosen? In that movie, they got Peter and Matthew not getting along. <laughs> so when Peter wrote about, when Matthew wrote about Peter, you know, rebuking the Lord, I don't think Matthew did out of anger. <laughs> out of <laughs> but it's the only book that talk about the Lord. <laughs> but it's used to get behind me say, but Matthew wrote it. <laughs> yeah, Matthew wrote that. He wrote that. Hey, man. Yeah. Oh, y'all listen to me? Yeah. <laughs> He wrote it. <laughs> he wrote it. He did. Johnny Ryan. <laughs> hey, my, oh, Amen. Amen. Yeah. 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 Come on, read. Exhort with all long suffering. That's, that's what we have to do. And doctrine. And, and we ain't telling folks what we feel. Amen. If I talk to you about anything, if I give you counsel about it, I was talking to someone today. I want you to know when I'm talking to you, when I'm giving you instruction, I'm giving you Holy instruction. I'm, 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 uh, if I'm giving you instruction, it's because the Bible said it. Mm -hmm. I might not quote the scripture. Right. But every counsel I give you is going to be Bible. Yeah. It's not going to be what I think yeah. and how I feel about yeah. nothing. It never is. That's why when people challenge me uh, about, you know, with my instruction and things, I already know they're not thinking about no scripture. Yeah. That's why I say, give me Bible. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm always in this thing. Yeah. This is my meditation. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I take time. I watch TV. And may go to a park. And, mm -hmm. Hallelujah. May see me at the mall. Mm -hmm. But this is my life. Hallelujah. Get in the Messiah. David said, Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor set in the seat of the scornful, but his delight, his delight is in the law of the Lord. All that other stuff, I, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm part of it. I'm in the world. I saw me yesterday uh, at Walmart with my camera, I'm Uncle Polo, Sister Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see it, uh, teacher? <laughs> what she doing exactly like I told you? She... Then I turned the camera back. And I'm doing <laughs> then I took it back on my watch. <laughs> Flick it back on me, I'm going. <laughs> Flick it back on her, she... <laughs> And she, she didn't turn and get mad at me. No, she didn't. <laughs> My wife and I, we laid down that foolishness. Y'all oh, hear yeah. me talking? Yeah. I said, My wife and I are waiting for other families to join me. Amen. I'm waiting for y'all testimonies. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. To have that same, amen, young as the, the Hurleys back there, they can have that same amen. testimony. The same. Hmm? Are you listening to me? Amen. Amen. Are y'all listening? Yes. Come on, read. For the time will come. Listen to what Paul telling Timothy. The time will come. When they will not when, endure sound doctrine. No matter what we show you in the scripture. No matter what we show you in the scripture. Hallelujah. Yes. Paul said you can show them in the scripture, but a time is going to come. I don't care how much of you show them. They, they will, will not, not endure, endure sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. But after they're older. I know what we teach you is sound. That's right. It's been proven. There's no doubt. It's sound. It's been proven. It's been tested. Yes. It's been tested by time. Time hasn't rooted it up yet. Because why? It's of God. Yes, it is. And whatever is of God is eternal. Oh, yeah. And the word of God is everlasting. Mm -hmm. It's everlasting. Yes, it is. And the amen, amen. and the doctrine we have there is sound. Amen. It do work if you obey it. You it do it. work. If it's ain't the spirit that talk to you, it work, but you it, just have to have be. patience and let it work. It will work. It will. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you say what? I said I try to look for faults. Not only him, the rest of us. Mm -hmm. I did it too. Oh, yeah. 
That's when it got to the point the Spirit told me to do something I don't want to do now. I need to go. I need to, now I want to read my I Bible. Look into it. I want to look into it. <laughs> Hallelujah. But you can't, there's no way around the word. We sang, the word, we sang a song that the word of God is so high that you can't go over. It is so low, you can't go under. The word of God is so wide, you can't go around it. You must come in at the door. You must come in at the door. If you don't come in at the door, what do Yeshua say you are? You are a thief and a robber. You're not here for salvation. And that's why every one of us, from the pulpit on down, must examine ourselves to see whether we're in the faith. And you got to start proving to yourself. Not to everybody else, to yourself that you're in the faith. Then you need to know, not your own self, whether or not you in the faith. Yeah. Because if you're not in what the faith, what we teach, you then you reprobate. reprobate. You worthless. Good for now. You're worthless. Worthless. When the spirit needs your testimony, you're going to shut down. You can't raise your hand and, and bear witness of the truth. Amen. Amen. So you got to keep your hand down. And you have to be quiet. Because mm -hmm. you can't bear witness to what we're reading. Right. And that's why every one of us must start examining ourselves. Amen. I don't care what you're doing in life. It's nothing more important for you to examine yourself. Above all that other stuff you must do today Amen. and every day. Yeah. But you got to be right, right? Yeah, you got to go to work. But you got you, you to be right, though. Yeah. You got to go to the grocery store. But you got to go right. You got to go wash clothes, but you got to go right. You got to go right. You got to put gas in your car, but you got to go right. Go right. Life is more than meat. Yeah. And the body of raiment. Uh-huh. Life is more. Yes. Yahweh woke you up this morning for you to seek him and to do his will. And everything else comes second. I don't care yes. what it is. It comes second. You wake you up to see a new day. It's for you to praise him. <clears throat> Keep his commandments. Pastor yeah. Riddle was showing him, giving us testimony about the uh, person on his job. Told me to, for him to close his ears. You yeah. see how she at least gave him respect before she started cussing this uh -huh. stuff? Yeah. Nobody else but him. Yeah. She ain't worried about all the other Christians in, in, on the job. Mm. So called Christians. Yeah. They just like her. Go to church, cuss. Yeah. Fight, talk about the ball and all that kind of stuff. She listen to Christian music in the office. <laughs> See that? He said she always listen to Christian music in the office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's but she's not gonna live none of it. Mm -hmm. Because the church they go to, they don't reprove. No. They don't rebuke. Don't do it. That's not the one standing before them that is perfect. Amen. Amen. Tell you what, the church be in bad shape. We don't have nobody perfect. Amen. The Spirit told you to mark the perfect man. Yeah. Yes, that Yahweh have not left himself without a witness. Mm -hmm. You got my wife's testimony. Amen. She shared that testimony. Yes. It was full of virtue. Yes. Yes, Lord. You know it's right. Amen. Amen. Not made that means that she's not thinking about herself. Amen. She's thinking about your house. Yeah. Amen. Any person not walking up right. I'm telling you, uncle, what counts they give you about your house, they don't, but they're not concerned about your house. Amen. If they themselves can't bear witness to what they're sharing with you. Amen. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why I walk. Oh, you got, oh, you got to say hallelujah. You got something to say. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Because Ray need to hear this. <laughs> Is that on? Praise him. Yes. I told uh, Mother Ray Ray, I thank you for making my job easier because she listened. I said, I thank you for listening. And that's how she was able to overcome because she listened to the instruction. And see, and you, so you can rejoice. Yes. See, it's hard as a, a someone who's greater than you to rejoice if you won't be obedient. Amen. I mean, you work on a job. If you want them hard headed, slow, for, won't do what they tell you to do. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. You get the word. Right, tell the they just don't like me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the reason why they don't like it. <laughs> For that reason. If we sit down and ask them, well, why you don't like uh, 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 Ralph? Oh, he's lazy. Yeah. He don't listen. He don't follow him. Straight. Right? So that Ralph ain't going to be on that job long, right? Not, not at all. Right? Yeah. But if you're a hard worker, 
like this man is. You know, he keeps showing me all the bonuses he's getting, and he bought me telling me, and don't tell nobody neither. Yes, Lord. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, yes, Lord. they got somebody here that yes. what, I need you to go to Dallas. No uh -huh. problem. I need you to, I need you, it's, and someone else, ain't, it, it ain't aiming this way. They work there. I need you to drive to Dallas. I don't, I don't, I don't like going no further than slave. Mm -hmm. I, don't get, I don't get paid to go. <laughs> man, go, that go past the loop, that's like going out of town to me. I want to stay within the loop. Yeah. <laughs> you got a position like that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Brothers and sisters. We're all laborers. Amen. Don't you want to be a faithful laborer? Yeah. Yeah. Will you be faithful? Amen. And go through your trials the right way. Yes. Devil of Satan had to get up and get out of here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he ain't got no choice. Yes. That's right. Brothers and sisters, I did not bring him with me today. Neither did I. If he's here because someone brought Somebody him. Somebody did. Not me. <laughs> Somebody brought him. Not I. So let's quit bringing him here with Not us. I. When we sang that song, me and the devil had a tussle. But I won. But I won. I hate the devil. And he definitely hated me. And he me. hate me. Me and the devil, we, we can't, can't agree. agree. Me and the devil had a tussle. But I won. And you can sing that song and you mean it. <laughs> and we can look at you and know that you won. You can't tell me you won. You got the broken arm. Uh huh. Both eyes are shut. Yeah. <laughs> Both front teeth and bottom teeth missing. Yeah. And it's hallelujah. One, one, one leg is broken. You got a you got a cast around your neck, and you telling me you won. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how, how did you kick him when your leg is broke? First round. Are y'all listening to me? Yes, Lord. So that's why it's important that we get good up alone to our mind and fight the good fight. A faith. If you're going to fight the devil, fight a good fight. Will you join me to fight a good fight? Let's fight a good fight. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You can do it. Yes. You can do it. Yes, Lord. I don't care how low you are falling. The Lord God said, if you, even if you made your bed in hell. Yeah. And some of us, I know I've been there. I did that. I made my bed in hell. God didn't do it. I did it. Thank y'all. His hand wasn't short. He reached down. Hallelujah. I had to grab it. Can you come down a little lower? Lord, keep putting his hand on it. Get you. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> you know you can't be for real. You ought to be jumping to that name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You realize you're so messed up, you ought to be leaping for it. That's right. I made my bed in hell. Hallelujah. Many times. Not one time, many times. Many times. I like how you sit there many times. Yes. I know what hell is like. Yes. I'm not going back to that man Hallelujah. ever again. Oh, no. Never, ever yes. again. And I know Satan know I'm real when I say that yes. I love God more than my wife, more than my children. Yes. Amen. Why? Because yes. he had tested me with all of these things. Yes. yes. Now, look what my wife did. Y'all heard her testimony. She said she would rather die. Yes, the hand of the word. Amen. That the hand is again. So I tell you, when you deliver, you got. Hallelujah. All right, my wife got a hand up again. You probably just sat next to her. No, I'm just talking. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. That, that came up also today with Mother Ray. I said, the reason I said that, I said, I didn't say that because I want to die or something happened to me, I said that to keep me humble, to keep me in line. Say it again, mother. I said, I, I, said, I didn't say that. When I said I'd rather die than be a hinder to the ministry, I said, I didn't say that because I want to die. I didn't say that to 
be uh, talked about in that area. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, praise. Ooh, praise. Yeah. And I, uh -huh. I said that to keep me humble. Because yeah. I know myself. Yes. And I say, if I put that my out God, there, my it's going to keep me humble. If Yahweh chooses to send you places, then I will stay humble when I'm tried and wrestling with you going like you go. Amen. I say, because if y'all don't want the way don't want you going that long, you ain't gonna go I'm that long. I'm not gonna go that long. He ain't gonna Amen. let you go. That's right, won't let you go. So I said that to hum keep me humble. Amen. That way, yeah. if you making them trip, yeah. I won't get out of that. You hear the Bible talking? Yeah. I mean, you hear my sister talking? <laughs> 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 that is the Bible. That's the Bible talking there. But I'm, 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 I, but listen, y'all hear what she said? What are you doing to keep you humble? Yeah. What is humbling you? Yeah. Yeah. Lord, kill me. That's Jonah talking. Yeah, I'm ready to die. Jonah talk like that. I'm yeah. ready to die. <laughs> Anything to get away from that fella. Get away from her. Yeah, just talk. So as soon as you get a headache, you run into the hospital. <laughs> yeah, I'm not ready to die. As soon as you get a little pain in your leg, you run into the hospital. I thought you wanted to die. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> but y'all hear that? That sister, any sister can have that testimony. I wouldn't stop till I get that testimony. You can have it tonight. Yes. And you can speak the word, but you need to live it, though. Yes. Get up tomorrow and remember. Yeah, I saw a chosen when uh, Peter came back. He was all caught up. Yeah. He died wife. He wanted to spend some time yeah. with him and everything. She wouldn't even talk to him. Yeah, he was just so caught up. Fighting the brothers all over to the house and all that. He been gone all that time. He, he been ministering. I one thing about it, when you are busy with the spirit in the spirit, you're not looking at no family time. Mm. Only people in the flesh think about family time. Amen. People that's uh, idle minded, not doing nothing, just uh -huh. sitting around not doing nothing. Right. But when you caught up in the spirit, no, doing the work for the Lord, you ain't thinking about no husband, no yeah. wife, no son, no daughter, no nothing. Amen. That's why Ella Jimmy and Mother Mary, they, that's why they want to go back to Mexico. Yeah. Caught up. He don't, come on, he don't, he don't care about his knee. Amen. Mm. You very good. That's what I'm talking about. He, he ain't let that stuff get in his way. He loved it. They loved the ministry. Amen. Why you at home shooting at the planet game shooting folk? They don't come trying to come up with something to raise funds. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh, y'all listen to me, brother and sister. Where your treasure is, that's where your that heart is. Heart be also. And brothers and sisters. The ministry is my wife and I treasure. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, read. For the time will come, time will come. when they will not endure they sound will doctrine. Not endure. They just ain't going to obey Timothy. Amen. I don't care how hard you preach. Yeah. Amen. There's some you just ain't going to be able to help. Amen. Mm -hmm. But after their own lust. They're going to blame the church. Why they left. Yes. Don't you know every backslider <laughs> left because of their own lust? Their own lust. Their own. Had a sister left. She, my, she left and going to blame me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That ain't why she left. She left because she wanted to remarry. She did exactly yeah. what she wanted what to she do. Wanted if she that. wanted to do what's right to do, she would have never be, uh, remarried. Amen. She got tired of being lonely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Every backslider got a reason. But they need somebody to blame why they left. Uh, right. Brother so and so, she, he was just too mean to me. Well, the Bible told you to forgive him. Amen. That's what the scripture told you to do. Yes. Are y'all listening to me, brother? Yes. Yeah. So there's no excuse. No excuse. Every backslider, they backslid, they slid, backslid because of the lust of, he says, what the Bible tells me. Yes. Believe me, I backslide. If I backslide, I'm going back to be Jumbo. Right, exactly. I'm telling you, if I backslide, I'm going, I'm going. I'm 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 going back to the club. Are you the biggest I'm gonna find me some more weed. I know they got some better weed these days. Oh yeah, many times. <laughs> you going with me? Yeah. If you gonna get in the flesh, I'm gonna do what I used to do. I'm not gonna be with my wife. I'm gonna have many women. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go back being Jumba. Yes. That's right. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be looking for a fight because I ain't been in one since I was 20 years old. I'm talking about a fist fight. Mm -hmm. I ain't been in. 
Yeah, yeah you go with me, then. Yeah. I ain't been in one. Of, don't you know the devil show up and tell me that? Yeah, Remember how you used to knock folks out? Now I got to shake the devil off me because he want me to, to think on that kind of stuff. Sometimes I can't lay that go to sleep because he want want to remind me how I knock that man out. Oh, not Jose. Uh, Jose had me. I don't even try to remember him. No, I don't need your help. <laughs> uh, uh, even if I meet Jose, I'm glad I'm in the church. Huh? Jose. Oh, no, not Jose. Hallelujah. Uh, not, not the black belt. Yeah. Not, not, not Bruce Lee. I'm Harvey Lee, but that's Bruce Lee. <laughs> I meet Jose. I'm about to meet him with a gun. I'm not going to meet him with a stick. I got to meet him with something else. Yeah. But brother and sister, despite the life in the past, it don't mean nothing to me. When I slow down and think about it, I just have to just thank God for bringing me into the church. Oh, yeah. That life may have sufficed us. Mm -hmm. To be like all of the sinners. Mm -hmm. But God called me and he called you out of darkness into, the into marvelous his marvelous life. life. And have chosen each and every one of you to be his witness. The Lord said, I am not you my witnesses, said the Lord, and the servants whom I have chosen. We are all here because the Lord chose us. That's why you're here. Sometimes you got to go back and look at how did you get here? And how did it happen? What amount of person you was? How was your life before you got here? Out of all the preachers you heard, amen, did they, they preach like this? Did they teach a message that make you look at yourself and realize how frail you are? Not one time. And because of the message you're hearing, it makes building your faith up. You, you say, yourself, I got to do better. Lord, forgive me. I got to do better. I'm sorry I let you down. Right? Yes. I cry all the time. Yeah. When I think back where Yahweh brought me from out today, I'm telling my wife, I said, I'm trying not to cry right now while we was talking. She was try, trying not to, because Yahweh been good to the Washington family. He have delivered us and brought us from many things. We believe, not fear, we believe we owe him everything. Amen. Every breath I breathe, yes, Lord. let it be on his goodness. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Amen. I'm glad I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the church. Smaller, you know, it's, it's all right to be in a big mega church where you feel like you got something. Mm -hmm. But this small church as it is, yeah. the, the most little regular church on this side yeah. of love. <laughs> a few will be able to find it. Is where God dwells. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on, read. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Paul and Timothy know. Then look, just because you see people leaving church, don't mean and there's nothing wrong with the message. Amen. Amen. People leaving because of their own love. But after their own but lust, after their own shall they hear that's something they, they want to do, and we won't allow them to do it. Amen. That's what it is. Yes. After their own lust, shall they heap to themselves. Teachers. And this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna find preachers. Yeah. That's going to say he ain't going to say nothing. Having itching ears. Be what you want to be, do what you want to do, and ain't going to say nothing. Amen. That's what they look for. Yes. Find another church to go to. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I say find another church to go to. Yes. Don't have to change. and go in there set and just be as wrong as two left shoes. Yes. When the word go for it, it ain't going to touch it. Amen. They go away this uh huh. They go away the same way they came in. Same way. But here, the church is mm -hmm. anything outside the word of God, yeah. the word fine, you don't. Oh yeah. I, I know. It's I'm, I, I'm not telling you something what someone told me. I'm telling you what I experienced myself here. I've never been to a church that ministered to my spirit like it do. That would take sleep away from me when I'm not right. But when I'm obedient to the word, it just exalts me. It builds me up. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And I know Amen. that y'all always with me and that I'm doing the right thing and he's pleased. I'm happy. And that makes me want to resist the devil more. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Teachers. Have Having itching, itching ears. ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Y'all hear the word. Amen. So when you look around, you say, what happened to brother so-and-so? What happened to so-and-so? Then you know it's, that's Bible. Mm -hmm. They will turn their ears from, from the truth, the truth, and shall be turned unto and fables. They will find someone that's gonna tell them what they want to hear. Amen. I told you, when none right, none and ain't none to that church. Hey, what you mean? Ain't none to this church. It's the only thing, Amen. That makes a man right. Yeah. That's not another church in this in this city, uh -huh. Amen. That will bring, they will call you out of your scene. No. 
He, right. he just gave his testimony about the woman on the job. She go to church. Yeah. And she listen to Bible and listen to music, spiritual, right. Christian music all day long. All day. Uh, and that's how many of us we went to our church just as mean, hateful, fighting, and everything else. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Until the day we came here. We heard yeah. words that we never heard before. Never heard. And they were, you remember how wonderful those words were? Illuminate. Remember how the scales fell from your eyes? How you saw. Amen. Don't, don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that. Amen. You know, you went away and told, you, you became that woman at the well, went and told everybody about this church. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, I, and I, I love that in the, in the movie, The Woman at the Well. But she, she was just caught up, wasn't she? Yes, she was. She was sweating everything, but she was caught up. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And they said, she is. She's following us everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> she was caught up. Yes, she was. You remember, you was caught up too. You remember? Mm -hmm. Illuminated. Oh, yeah, she was too. Illuminated. Just, you just, you just you did your soul good. You know, you can stop folks' mind. Never did that before. Amen. When it comes to the scriptures. Amen. Hmm? Yes. Don't ever forget where the Lord brought you from. Amen. He, he didn't, it, could, it could be someone else sitting here. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Instead of buttercup, it can be snicker <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of, instead of little Rob, it could be little Bobby. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Instead of Moses, it could be Michael. Yes. yes. Mm hmm. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Instead of Justine, it could be Jasmine. Mm hmm. Yes. Instead of Harvey, it can be Sam or Harry. Yes. But he chose me. Amen. Not because I was righteous, I was a sinner. I'm not going to fail him. Amen. I refuse to fail him. Mm -hmm. And when I'm mad at anybody, it's me that I'm mad at. Amen. I don't have no reason to be mad at you. Hallelujah. Yes. I only can be mad at myself. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Come on, let's finish it. But watch thou in all Tell things. Tell I need you to watch because too many people are falling. Endure affliction. And what, 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 what? Endure so, affliction. So, so understand this, brothers and sisters. Are y'all listening? Yes. yes. Don't let Satan talk to you about your affliction. Hallelujah. If you let Satan talk to you about your affliction, he'll make you think you don't want to be in affliction. Amen. That's right. Yes. Hallelujah. We all are afflicted on this journey Amen. because Satan don't like none of us here. He don't want none of us here. No, he don't. And that's why, you are, that's why we go through things. But yes. you see what the Apostle Paul told Timothy to endure. Endure affliction. Paul, listen to me. Paul is able to say this because Paul is an enduring, enduring yes, affliction. Yes, The man's in prison. Yes. You see how he's not, but, he, but he, he's not giving up on God because he locked up. No. Anything that afflicts you, you should count yourself blessed. Yes. Amen. Not a curse. Amen. And don't be surprised when you have to be afflicted. Amen. Because you will be. Oh, yes. yes. Even from your own kinfolk, Yeshua's own brother, the Bible said they didn't even believe in him. Uh -huh. So they afflicted him. Amen. Amen. What did the Bible say? It's a man enemy. It shall be of his own household. See, it didn't, name, no, it didn't say your neighbor down the street. No. Own house. Your biggest enemy is in your house. The people that is, is blood of your blood. Flesh of your flesh. Yes. That's your biggest enemy at home. Amen. Because if Satan can use anyone to get you out the spirit, Amen. to get you to give up on God, he's going to use family members. Yes. So Yeshua said, don't think I come into this world to bring peace, but a sword. Amen. For there will be five in one house divided, two against three and three against two. Ah, come to set a man against his own father, and a father against his own son. The mother against a daughter, the daughter against the mother. The daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law, the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law. Because any member of your family refuse to do what's right, they can do God expect for you to stand up and do the right thing. He expects you to stand up and do what's right to do. If you're the only one in the house that's doing it. Yes. Amen. Oh, y'all 
listen. Yes, Lord. But he that seek to save his life, you're going to lose it. You can't fix nothing. You got to let God fix it. Amen. But in the meantime, you got to obey God and do what he told you to do. Mm -hmm. Only then you become like God. Only then you become like the Messiah. Yes. How many of us want to become like the Messiah? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, you have to be afflicted. Amen. Amen. Yeshua the Messiah, your Bible says, he learned obedience. Through the things that he suffered. Hallelujah. That's how he learned. So when y'all, many of us, we think about Yeshua, he was just a strong man. Now I'll put it in, in this proper way. He became strong because he endured suffering. Yes. Amen. That's right. Understand yes. that. He got to where he is because he endured. Can you imagine on a cross cussing folks out? <laughs> uh -huh. Then we wouldn't have that testimony of him, right? Mm -hmm. But instead he said, Father, please forgive them. For they don't know what they do. Oh, y'all listen to me. Amen. So endure affliction. Do the work. I know it get hard. And you may have to shed tears. Yeah. Amen. That's right. It may seem like the whole world is against you. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Amen. But Paul told Timothy. But endure, endure affliction. Yes. Do the do work it. of an evangelist. Remember, you're an evangelist. You just can't sit home. Amen. Amen. I need you to do the work. People need to be encouraged. Yes. Amen. Yes. Do the work. Don't, because all of us got to give. And it's something about it when we're afflicted, we just sit down and we just don't do what God has set us up to do. Yes. In, in charge of the kitchen, but not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. The earth. Because yes, mm -hmm. yes. you've been afflicted, you don't want to stand up there. Yes, hey, if you're doing your job. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Amen. I beloved Pastor uh, 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 Diaz. He didn't. He didn't endure affliction, did he? No, he didn't. He was going through some things, but every time he got up here, mm -hmm. y'all witnesses of these things. Yeah. You say what? Yeah, y'all. Yeah, you felt so sorry for him. You, why don't you going back to Arlington? But see, a bishop, God expects you to be strong. I may send a sister somewhere. Oh, uh, my brother, that's, that's not strong as a weight, but a bishop? Mm -hmm. We don't run off. What, what happened to Mark? Yeah. <laughs> what did he do? Mark. Yeah. Uh, he ran off. He yeah. with Peter, yeah. I mean, with Paul and Barnabas, and he ran off. Ran he off. separated himself because it got hard. Forsook him. Yeah. Got hard. This way do get hard. But as a bishop, God expects you to endure hardness. As a good soldier, how are you going to tell everyone else how to endure it and you won't show them? Mm -hmm. So when we see you've been afflicted and you can't stand up and do what God has set you up to do, how can you encourage someone else to be strong? Amen. Paul's going to do it, look at you and say, why don't you do it? <laughs> you put people in that position to think yeah. like that about you. Then Amen. you get mad you want to take a message out on them. How about the spirit talking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not me speaking, it's the spirit. Uh -huh. Spirit of anger. Yeah, but you, you gave the people something to wrestle with, though. Yes. And if the Spirit really using it, you're going to use yourself as an example. That's when you preach it. So the Bible says, remember what Paul said? Though we have 10,000 instructors in the Messiah, but we don't have many father figures. We don't have many. A, a father, someone understand his responsibility. He's responsible to take care of his house and to train his house. To take the load and to do it first. Son, you need to go find a job. <laughs> and he said at home. Yep. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Older son, I always say, Dad, thank you. Amen. Thank you for showing me how to be a man. Amen. I saw when you were sick. Amen. <clears throat> you still went to work. Amen. I saw when you get up, you know, sometimes you only had two hours of sleep. And you still got up and you went to work. I saw how hard you work. He said, that's what gives him the strength. All that hard to going through with his vehicles. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the brothers, they keep on wrecking them. 
Amen. He said, because that, you have shown me how to handle affliction. So that's what gives me strength. Y'all, y'all talk about y'all dad. How, y'all, and it's good. That means Pastor Chiller did something right. He, he left something back that stayed with the boys. Hallelujah. Amen. How he, uh, amen. Yeah. amen. Y'all have been talking about how your daddy, is, he, he, had, he didn't have his wife with him. Mm-mm. All the children ran off. He, amen. He still came to church. Yeah. Still got on that good talk. Still sung. Amen. Still preached the word. Still did what he had to do. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. That man labored in faith, believing if he would do it, his family would be in church. Now, his wife is in church. Mm-hmm. His son's in the church. Because look how strong his daughter is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Man labored in faith. Y'all hear me talk? Yeah. He understood. He understood his sacrifice. As my wife keeps saying, she do it for you all. That's why you should do it. Not only to save yourself, because if you be strong, you help others to be strong. Son, be strong. Don't let your grandfather death be in vain. <clears throat> love your wife and love your children that you're always given to you through Amen. your wife. Yeah. And you honor your husband. And never let Satan come between y'all ever again. Amen. You, you, amen. you seek to please him because he's your Lord. Yeah. And you make her happy because she's your wife. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Then y'all will bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, I got I got 20 minutes here. Do the work of an evangelist. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof Make of thy ministry. Make full proof of your ministry. For full am, proof. Amen. Of your ministry. Yes. Come on, read. For I am now ready to be offered. They're going to kill me. Timothy. And the time of my departure they're is gonna, at hand. They're going to kill me, Timothy. Yes. I'm a Roman. Amen. And I know what the Romans do to Romans. Their punishment is to be headed. They're going to kill me. Yes. Now be, I'm ready. Amen. To be offered. To be offered. And the time of my departure now, is at hand. Me to die is at hand. I have fought I a have good fought. fight. Oh, y'all getting this here. Amen. What about you? Amen. What kind of fight are you fighting? Hallelujah. Is it a good one? Hallelujah. Look at it. Look at it. how Amen. confident this man is speaking. Amen. Amen. I have fought a good fight. You, you, you can only speak. Of yourself yes, Lord. in your battle. Amen. Amen. My wife says she take her problem to the Lord. Amen. She don't Amen. bring them to me. Amen. Wife, y'all hear what I just said? She don't bring them to me. Amen. So y'all understand that you should take your problem to the Lord. You always have problem with people. Amen. That's when you think folks don't love you. I'm not your deliverer. No. I never claim to be your deliverer. Never have. So you come to me about a brother or about a sister, and I don't go to them. Mm-hmm. Now you're mad at me, but I'm not your deliverer. Amen. Amen. You're not. Yes, now you think I don't love you. Right. Now you don't think I don't care for you. You see, you yeah. dig your own hole. Yes. Amen. You dig a hole, you're going to fall in. Yes. Ain't nobody going to You're going to fall in the, the hole that you dug for yourself. Amen. Amen. Guarantee. I'm not your deliverer. Yes. Mother Washington is not your yes. deliverer. Amen. I can bear witness. My wife do not come to me about nothing. <laughs> Amen. About nobody. Amen. She take it to the Lord. Amen. Yes. Gloria, Senor. When you can learn that, then you can be able to see people right. Amen. And you just stop false accusing Amen. people that they don't love you. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Who is your great exceeding reward? Is his name Harvey Washington? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not your great exceeding reward. I may be a blessing to you. Yeah. Mother Washington may be a blessing to have her here in love. It may be a blessing. But Mother Washington is not your great exceeding reward. Mm. I didn't die for you neither did she. Mm-mm. But that's her testimony. And every wise woman in here will listen carefully. Yes. And will not allow those words that she had shared with the church fall to the girl. Amen. Amen. I'm not a burden to her, neither she is to me. 
learn to fight your own battle. Yeah. I promise you the phones will stop ringing. Yeah. You got to learn to shut up. You got to learn to stop talking. You got to learn to stop sharing things. Amen. And fight your own battle. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, he was on the main line. You sing a song, you up on the main line. Tell him what you want. Shoe up on the main line. Tell them what you want. Oh, yeah, you were on the main line. Tell them what you want. You ought to call them up and yeah. tell them what and you, you want. And you won't even use the number. Yeah. <laughs> you won't even use that number. You yeah. won't call them up. You all you call everybody up except him. Not even in your contacts. <laughs> you don't even have it in your contact. <laughs> you got his number written on a piece of paper that you can't find. Can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me carefully. Yes, Lord. He that has the ear to hear, let him hear. Hallelujah. Don't you know I, I give all of you to Yahweh? Amen. Amen. I do. Amen. That's why I don't change when I'm in your presence. Amen. You can be wrong with two left shoes, yes. but I always treat you right. Hallelujah. I always treat you like you're right. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, hey, man, your shoes always treated Judas like he was right, although he was stealing. When Yeshua, the Spirit of God, dwells in you. Amen. Hallelujah. If he truly, Yeshua is truly in you, yes. you will never change. Hallelujah. Despite what you go through. Yes. Amen. Will you be persecuted? Of course you will. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Will you be talked about? Sure. Will you will talk. Mm -hmm. Whether you're doing good or doing evil. Amen. Whether they speak the truth about you or they falsely Amen. accuse you. Yes. But remember the words of the man of God. It's better to suffer for well-doing than for evil. Than for evil. Oh, yeah. people are going to talk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, I give all of That's when you think I don't love you. Yeah. He should have been by my house by now. Why well, am I going to do that when I get you to the Lord? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I come to people and I know people ready to hear me. Yeah. Yeah. I come to people and they, when they Amen. When they, amen. When they're not looking for a fight, because I'm not here to fight nobody. Amen. Neither am I here to condemn nobody. No. The truth that come not into the world to, to condemn, condemn the world. Already condemned. Amen. But to save it. You yeah. always send me to love to do one thing, not to condemn no one, amen. but to save those that were here. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I can rebuke you and reprove you, and still you got to eat after I get through. Yeah. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, y'all listen. Amen. And that's why Apostle Paul said, be ye followers of me. Even as I follow Messiah. Be ye followers of me. Yes. Be ye followers of me. Mm -hmm. And mark them yeah. that walk so as you have us For an as an example. Because many walk, and he ain't talking about people outside the church, my people inside the church. Yeah. Many mm -hmm. walk, mm -hmm. of whom I told you often that they are the enemy. Yeah. Of the cross of the Messiah. If you don't do what's right, you are enemy to the cross. Yeah. Remember, Yeshua died that people may be saved. But when you're not doing the right thing, amen, you're an you enemy. Yeah. Because the weak will pattern after you. Yeah. The weak will pattern after you. You're supposed to bring salvation to the weak. Yeah. The Bible said, let the strong bear yeah, the, infirmities the infirmities of the weak. Of the weak. Hallelujah. It's not about pleasing yourself. Sometimes, Father Moses, you talk to preach on. Being the doormat. You, hey man, if you're the doormat, stay the doormat. If I'm tired of being the doormat, I won't be the door. <laughs> stay the doormat till the Spirit make you the door. Yeah. Stay down there. Amen. Oh, y'all listen to me? And on, brothers and sisters, I don't care how low you get. And I'm telling you, I've been there when you allow Satan to rule in you and you do things contrary. That's when you feel worthless. You're not important in the church and all that kind. Of, say no, you're important. That's why he attack you like he do. That's why he attack you like because you are important according to the word. The least one among us is the greatest. And you gonna sit there and let the devil talk to you about how 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 how, how low you are? No, let y'all let the spirit speak about your lowness because then it can deliver you. Because the spirit will give you hope that you can change. You can come out of it. I believe every brother, every sister that can change. But you got to do it. Amen. 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 
you got you, you got to do it. I can't do it for you. I wish to God I could. But that's not how this thing works. You got to work out your own salvation, the Bible says. With fear and trembling. You ought to be afraid that you don't do this thing right. This may be your last day. You may not have tomorrow to get it right. You may not have it tomorrow to get it right with your brother or with your sister, with your husband, with your wife, with your father, with your mother, your son and your daughter. The day is a day of salvation. Behold, now is the time. The acceptable time. God accepting you to do what's right now. I wouldn't leave the church if I got if I'm wrong. I've got some, a, a problem with my brother. I go to them. Ain't no need to watch those movies. You ain't going to do it. Amen. Since I have set myself free from all men, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I'm at peace. Yes. I'm at peace. I've seen many come and go, but I still have peace. Amen. Hmm? Amen. So I will, I will work with those that will continue to fight with me. Because we got to fight unto the end. Amen. Are y'all ready to run with me unto the end? Yes, Lord. I said, are you ready to run with me? Today? Yes, Yahweh. I, I got three sisters going to Mexico, and I expect y'all to hey, remember me when y'all go there. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I'm talking to Mother Sivy today, and she's so excited. Ain't some Mexico excited. Yes, but remember, if you remember me, you won't do nothing that I wouldn't do. Amen. So when I get back, I'm going to say, you know that, Sylvia? <laughs> you know that mother told you, I said, she don't talk my goodness. She ain't nothing like you. <laughs> yeah, she told me that Ellis Cruz choked mother, mother Mary. He shouldn't be doing stuff like that. And that's why he had that stroke. Because she'd reach over and grab that Bible, hit him side of the head, knock him off of him. That's right. That's right. That's why he was. The Bible called that person a tattler. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Tattler. Tattler. Just tell yeah. everything. Yeah. Brother, we have you in the church. Hallelujah. Especially among your sisters. Yeah. 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 Got to study yeah. to be yeah. quiet. Yeah. You got to slow down and say, why do I want to call this sister and share this? Amen. Yes, Lord. Yeah, little Robert was just dragging this. <laughs> First grabbed her by the head and her head cup and come off and she didn't do that. And then grabbed her by the hair and started dragging her. <laughs> and she wow. was just cussing and stuff. Hmm? Amen. Tail barrier. Yeah. Stop being a tail barrier. Right. Mm -hmm. and get in the word. Yeah. And meditate yeah. in the word. Yeah. Why yeah. Satan? Satan has to. He gonna say, well, no, no, no. These people here, they they got their mind right. It's just I can't dwell here. Let me go. I see the bishop. Look at he's just working on the cell, praying, fasting like they're supposed to be fasting. Yeah. Who, who in here know the Bible better than me? Who said, who said that? Yeah, but she spoke the truth. But you know what? I do take time out and read. Brothers, sisters, take time out to read. How many of us take time out to eat today? Raise your hand. Oh, the rest of y'all haven't ate today? Oh, y'all didn't, didn't understand what I said? Okay, okay. How many of us take time out and ate some food today? Hmm? Okay. Would you barely happy? Yeah. You wasn't happy. It could have been, could have been the food, whatever. Oh, your throat. <laughs> oh, it's your throat. You couldn't really eat, but you had barely said, I don't care. I'm throat. <laughs> eat something. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, at least you tried, though, right, sister? All right, I got five minutes. Come on, let's read. I have fought a good fight. Y'all listen to Paul's testimony. I have finished my course. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept my the course. faith. My course. Not my everybody course. else's. My course. And I have kept, kept the faith. The, there's only one faith. Amen. There's only one thing to believe in. I have kept 
the faith. Amen. Yeah. Henceforth, now because I did this, there is laid up for me a crown me of righteousness. A crown of righteousness. Which the Lord, the righteous the judge. Lord, the re understand this. The right. I don't care if you got a problem with everybody else judging you. But remember, the Lord, a righteous judge, judge will judge you. Amen. And he know everything. He know why you did what you did. Yeah. He know why you call that fellowship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He know why you told your wife you going there and you went so. He, he, you know all that. Because your wife can't, or your husband can't prove it. He know what you did. Amen. Right. We talking about the righteous judgment now. Yeah. I may judge you wrong, but the, amen, but the righteous judge that's going to judge you. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Watch the word say here. Henceforth there is later for me a later crown of righteousness. Me a crown of righteousness. Which the Lord the which righteous, the Lord, judge, the righteous shall judge shall give me, at, give that me day. at that day. And not to me and only. Not only to me. But unto all but them all also that love them his appearing. That's that love. Not only, listen to that. Don't leave you out if you love his appearing. Amen. I mean your love waiting for him to come and get you. Mm -hmm. But you got to be walking right to know yes. that. Yes. And Paul said, all of them. Also, that love that is love appearing. That love is appearing. Do thy now, diligence. you got to quit slow poking around, Kenneth. To come shortly Things unto is, me. This just, is just too much going on in the church. Hallelujah. Too many people falling by the wayside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the Spirit tells you to do something, you ought to do it diligently. Amen. Amen. Yes, Very true. Someone greater than you give you instruction to do, you need to do it diligently. Hallelujah. You can't lay it to the side. Mm -mm. That's a sign of disrespect. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So Paul said, do thyself diligently. To come shortly unto to me. To come unto me. Amen. Yes. For Demas has forsaken but me. Well, Demas have for done what? Forsaken me. I can't depend on. Having loved this he present loved world. Just, he just too wrapped up with what's going on in the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. And is departed unto Thessalonica. To Thessalonica. Cretans to I Galatians. Needed, needed him here, but he went on down there. And Cretan to where? Gal Gal Galatia. Yes. Titus and unto Dalmatia. Titus, he went to Dalmatia. Amen. Only Luke is All with I me. All I have with me is Luke. Take Mark. The only one I have with me here is Luke. Is, is Luke. The only one I have with me. Amen. But I need you to take Mark. And bring him with thee. I know Mark messed up in the past, but Mark got himself right. Amen. Now I can use Mark. For he is profitable to me. What, 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 what? For he is profitable to me. I at the time Mark and I have. Why Paul don't want to use me? For the ministry. The Spirit want to use you, but he want to use you right. Amen. Oh, y'all ain't been talking? Amen. So don't let the devil talk about, amen, your condition. Let the Spirit judge you, because it's going to exalt you. Amen. Amen. Despite amen. how Paul was willing to forgive uh, uh, Mark, he said he's profitable unto me. For the Every ministry. Every one of y'all play, y'all all are all profit to me. Amen. Profitable. Yes. You have a special gift. You don't have to be jealous of everyone else in church. No. So we don't have to compete. There's only one Moses. There ain't no one else for me, Moses. There's only one uh, 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 Romero. Romero. Mm -hmm. That's not another Romero. Mm -hmm. There's only one uh, Robert. Mm -hmm. One Ella Cruz. One Buttercup. Right. Yeah. No one like you. Yeah. You're not Ariana. And Ariana's not you. Uh -huh. You're special in your own way. You both got your special gift. Yeah. Proper gift for God. Amen. That's not, that's not another little romp. No. Let no one move like him. No, that's right. You know, one thing about the children, the way they move, they just make people rejoice. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. They, 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 just, they do. They just, they just, they just yeah. make people rejoice. Don't rejoice. I'm a bad yeah, that's right. That's right. There's only one Michelle. Amen. There's only one Mama Mary. Yeah. Yes, Never be one one Michael. You may have your daddy name, but you are only one Mike. One Quentin. Amen. One Jonathan, Amen. Samantha, Amen. Yes. Misty, yes. Adela. Amen. Never be another you. Yes. Mother Washington, Mother uh, Maria. Mm -hmm. Only one. Yes. One Amen. Mother Torres. Yes. One Justine. Yes. One body. Yes. There ain't another Harvey. Not me. That's mm -hmm. three. His name after me, but that's all. I mean, two that name after but I'm the only Harvey, though. Amen. There's, no, there's not another Harvey like me. <clears throat> That's why you try to do, do what I do with other folks. Get, people get mad at you, but you're not me. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. There's only one. The one. Only one. Never be another you. And you always shape me. Yes, because of my sin, he shaped me. Yeah. Took that messed up thing and made it something worth it. 
that can edify. Amen. Amen. Don't you know you all can edify one another? Yes. Just try. And the way you do that is by walking up. Couple more verses, we're going in now. And Tithicus have yes. I sent to Ephesus. Yes. The cloak that I left at Troas with yes. Corpus. At the cloak that I left. Yes, with uh -huh. Troas with Corpus. Yes. When thou comest, yes. bring with thee. So, y'all hear the Bible talking? Yes. So, even a little small thing I ask you to do, don't you know you're supposed to do? Yes, Lord. Amen. I'm being necessary to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are, are y'all listening? Yes. It was needed. Yes. Mm hmm. Amen. When thou comest, when you come, bring with thee yes. and the books, yes. but especially the parchments. The parchments are uh, 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 commandments. Yes. Amen. Rules. Amen. They set up in the church. Amen. Yes, sir. Alexander the carpersmith yeah, he, he did brother, me much evil. He was evil. a brother in the church. Yeah. Alexander was a brother in the church. Yeah. That worked with Paul. Paul, no doubt, Paul set him up. Mm -hmm. Paul ordained him. Yes. Hallelujah. He labeled with Paul in the ministry. Mm -hmm. But he changed. Yes. yes Lord, Alexander the carpet smith. Did me much he evil. Have done me so bad. The Lord reward him according to his words. No, I'm going to get him when I get down there. The Lord reward him according to his no, word. No, we're going to walk outside and we're going to fix this. <laughs> the Lord reward him according to his word. So don't make them do what they want to do to you. God will take care of them. <laughs> Y'all would say, vengeance is mine. I will this man you. did damage. He called people to even leave the church. Yes. He called people to leave church. Yes, Lord. Going around telling people Paul wrong and what he's teaching is wrong. That kind of sounds like my Uncle Jane, don't it? <laughs> yes. But I have some of y'all here. Mm -hmm. I have Alexander's here. Yes. You go home and you say, teach anything opposite of what I taught. Yes, That's Lord. what you are. Amen. Amen. That's why that's written in the Bible. Yes. I can't be the Alexander. It had, to, it had to be someone less than me. Amen. To be the Alexander the Carpet. Right. Alexander the carpet smith. Did me much he evil. Done me so much evil. The Lord reward the Lord him according reward to him his word. According words. to his word. Of whom be thou where and also. You gotta watch out for him. For he hath greatly withstood our what, words. What, 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 what? For what, he what? hath greatly withstood our words. What, what, what? For he hath greatly withstood our words. We had Alexander a couple about last year. Was the last year when Alexander, Sammy came here? Sonny? Yes. yes. Alexander, sonny. Uh huh. Stood right there. Yep. Yeah. Offer the challenge. Offer a challenge. Yep. Yeah. But you see how I walked in the spirit. Right. Y'all remember my testimony? I'm going to say that. Y'all yeah. remember how that unfolded? Yes. I said, when we pulled up, we saw him coming in the door, my wife and I. I was happy to see him. Hoping that, you know, he coming to, to repent, do the right thing. And so my, my wife and I would say, oh, yeah, son, brother, son, amen. So I'm, I'm moving by faith him, that he's going to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. God happened. Soon I put the car in park, the spirit spoke to me. Said, answer not a fool according to his folly. And when my wife saw the expression of my face as a smile turned into a serious look, you know that look I get? Yep. She said, well, you okay, Junior? I said, baby, go ahead and go on this side. I have to talk to the Lord here. What? One well, thing about your, your shoe. Remember what he said to the apostle? Don't even think about what, what you're going to say. say. I'm going to give it to you. In that very hour. So, yeah, no doubt he was at home planning all this scripture that he wanted to use <laughs> and what he going to say and how he going to trap me and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Got bold enough to do it in front of everybody. Yes, he did. Yeah, I just saved him some embarrassment. That's what I did. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> and the truth, he know I taught him. And that's much he don't know that he ain't heard yet. Amen. So I have to say, the Spirit showed me what do I came in. What did he do? I want to challenge you. Yep. <laughs> Sit down. I want to challenge you. Sit down. I want to challenge you. It ain't time to challenge. We haven't prayed, so it's in hand. <laughs> yeah. When the Spirit
spirit in you. The Bible said, do all things decent. decent and There's a decent way to do things. Yeah. There's an only way to do yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. I said, the Lord already showed it to me. Now to answer a fool according to his folly. <laughs> now, don't you want me to obey that scripture, Sonny, or not? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to obey that scripture or not? I'm not a fool. You are a fool. Are you holy? You living right? Mm -hmm. He couldn't answer, huh? No, he couldn't. Are you living right, Sonny? He couldn't he answer, answer right. that. I know you ain't. I know you ain't. So you on his, go on his Facebook, all those naked men. Uh-huh. No women, all men. Yeah. That tell me <laughs> he like men. Mm -hmm. So that tell me he's in the flesh. Yeah. No one that's in the spirit have that stuff on their Facebook. Uh -uh. Amen. That's Amen. why he had me. He had to leave. He had to. Because the spirit will put you on the spot. <laughs> Never challenge the Holy Ghost. Never. Because he going to lose. Every time you will lose. Yeah. Uh, what did yes, you would tell them, Pharisees, Sadducees, <laughs> let him that have no sin, sin cast the first stone. I'm not telling you you can't chunk one. <laughs> but I want the one that don't have no sin to cast, to cast the first stone. Hallelujah. The Bible said they all went away. Yeah. Yeah, man, they were con condemned from the elder to the... One thing about the elder, they know how to get out of real fat leader. <laughs> yeah, they know they not slide out of here. Yeah, but Them young leaders, them standing by themselves. Hmm? Yeah. But he, ha he had to leave. Had to. I don't answer a fool according to his, to his father. Yeah. You're not a holy man. You're a holy man. Come talk to him. Get right and come talk to him. Yeah. But you ain't going to live any kind of way and come on, come talk to me about no scripture. I ain't got no time for it because the Bible also told me not to give that which is holy to dogs. Dog. Neither catch a pearl or swine. And what I got is a pearl and you unclean. Amen. Well, it look like a pig walking around with some pearls around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> don't look right. It don't look right. No, it don't. Hallelujah. Amen. I always follow the spirit. Yeah. This is my meditation. Oh, come on, I need to finish. Come on, come on. And my first answer, and no man stood with me. Pause and my first answer, I didn't have nobody standing with me. But all men forsook they me. Did what? Forsook me. When I needed them, they were nowhere around. All they men all forsook have me. All forsaken me. I pray God. My, listen, this thing is serious. Amen. You bishop, are y'all listening? Yes. Amen. Especially you bishop. This is what the man of God say here. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. That's my first answer. No man stood with Nobody me. Nobody was with me. But all men forsook me. But they all forsook me. I pray now God. Listen to what how serious this thing is. Listen to how serious this thing is. Yeah. Paul said, I pray to they don't know. Don't y'all know y'all not ready? Yes. To follow the spirit. Whether you're a bishop or not, it don't make no difference. Amen. And you not ready to do your part? Right. Paul said, I pray to God. That it may not be laid to their charge. You hear this? Yes, Lord. God, y'all we know all of us. Amen. That's why the man God told the Romans, you are inexcusable, old oh man. Whosoever you are. Whosoever you are. But you judge and do the same. Don't have, we, don't, we don't have no excuse. You judge and do the same. We said, the Bible said we should always be ready to participate. to participate. In every good work. Hallelujah. To participate. In every good work. Under every good work. Amen. Amen. Now you understand, uh, Daniel Children, I said, I'm scared to meet y'all. I don't understand why you have, we have some just are so excited, can't wait till the Lord come. I think you better slow, slow down a little bit. Yeah. It's important that we slow down. Amen. Don't be so boastful. Right. But examine yourself, see whether or not you're ready to meet them. Because you're going to give an account. She was there. We were giving account for every idle word that comes forth word. from our lips. Because you're talking don't mean anything. That's right. Because the words coming through your mouth don't mean that they are right. Mm -hmm. It don't mean that you've been truthful, and neither does it mean that you are honest. Amen. Hmm? Amen. 
So every idle word we will give an account be the yes. words of Yeshua. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, by your words, yeah. that you will be justified. Yeah. By your, by your words. words. Not what anybody else say about you. Yeah. But by your yeah. words, you'll be justified. And by your words, you will be condemned. Yes. Yeah. So when you realize that you can't get around, you make fool everybody else. We make him fool everybody else. I can fool all of you. But I can't fool him. Now that's scary to me. So I have to slow down and think about it before I just run, just do things and talk. I've got to make sure I'm being honest. Not because we should be honest one with another. And to be truthful, truthful saints to, to the saints, the majority of us, when we talk, we're not really honest. We want to say what we want people to hear. Amen. Right. If you're honest, your fruits will bear witness that you're honest. Amen. But one thing, Pastor White's not going to do, don't get no argument. No, 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 no you didn't. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't do that. Yeah. Take it by your word. Take it by your word. And that's between you and Yahweh. That's between you and Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Come over, let's finish this chapter. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me. He stood with me. And strengthened and me. What, what? And strengthened so when me. It's hard, that's, so if you're waiting on the Lord, stay there. Amen. He's going to give you strength to go through what you got to go amen. through. Amen, yes. If you've been, amen, you've been buffed about, hang on in there. He's going to give you strength. He's going to strengthen you. Amen. Come on, read, finish it. That by me. That by me. The preaching might be fully oh, known. Oh, you see how important it is that you do the right thing? How's the preaching going to be known if you won't do what's right to do? Amen. How's the Spirit going to use you when they need your testimony and you ain't got one? Right. That the preacher may be known. Fully known. Fully known. And that all the Gentiles all might the hear. the Gentiles may hear. And I was delivered God out of the mouth of the lion. to everybody else who don't know him. Yeah. Yes, I read on. And I was delivered I was out of the mouth out of, of the, the lion. Mouth of the lion. Oh, you're in the mouth of the lion right now. Well, you, are you okay? Is it chewing yet? No. Well, no. Then, then you're all right. You're but all right. acting like you're in pain. Just slobbering. But look at them fangs. God gonna deliver before he started chewing. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> and sometimes this condition we're in is like being in the mouth of a lion. Yeah. Mm hmm. Amen. And the Lord shall deliver me shall deliver from me. every evil word. Y'all hear the Bible talking? Amen. So Rick Paul said, regardless of what Satan would throw at me, Amen. the Lord already fixed it for me so I can escape. Hallelujah. And he will deliver me from every evil word. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And will preserve me. And he's going to keep me. Unto his heavenly until kingdom. He, until on his heavenly kingdom. To whom be glory. To whom we give him glory. And for, forever. And forever. And ever. And ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And forever. Amen. And ever. Amen. And ever. And forever. And, and, and ever. ever. Amen. And the Bible says, all the people say it. Amen. Amen. So we thank Yahweh for the words he's given to us tonight. Let's take the word that is.